Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Court of Corvids. This is actually episode 20. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Really? Yeah, te- I mean, technically, it's like 21 because we do have a, a, a 0.5 episode, but this is ah. like solid episode 20. Um, and uh, this episode's name is actually Monkey's Paw. So, uh, <laughs> I, I how often have how no, you been before we go, Jake? Uh, this is the first one. This is the first one. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna teach you that yeah. when you name the episode beforehand, we're as players are gonna try actively to avoid whatever plot point that you name <laughs> the episode after. So I, I I try to I try to name them. Uh, oh hold on, I'm dumb because I forgot something. Okay. Okay, bye. Uh, this is uh, how we like to do things here at Q Times. We like to have a lot of dead air on the, this is an on educational the stream. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if it was forgetting to record again or something. Oh, no, no. It wasn't recorded. It was, uh, I forgot to get rid of the echo. Oh, oh the echo. The echo. Gotta get rid of the echo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's, a whole, it's a whole thing I have to do. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, right. That's right. Uh, and so I, I just was like sitting here. I was like, I forgot something. No, uh, okay. Yeah, no. This is the first episode I've named Monkey's Paw because, one, I, I know no matter what you do, it, it's going to be involved with the monkey's paw. Okay. That makes me very nervous, and I love you. Yeah, we shall see. Whether we... it's preventing the captain from getting it, or... Yeah. There is very little we could do right now that would not involve the monkey's paw. Like, if we just yeah. sat there and ate food, we would just be, like, complacent in its whatever happens to it happening. Yeah, probably... non-action is action at this point. <laughs> yeah. And if I toss all of you in the ocean and then jump in myself and we all go to a watery grave, then that still is in some way re- affecting we, we would the, find the, the monkey's, monkey's paw in the grave. <laughs> Are you implying that you have the capability of grappling my character? Because I disagree. <laughs> all right, fine. I'll stab Krug and kill Krug. And then, I'm okay and with that. That's body totally fine. Mission. It's what not difficult in your lane. to Krug to, to, to one hit point or less. Stay <laughs> in your lane? <laughs> yeah. I thought we were all friends. What's going I've on? I've decided here? I'm going to start <laughs> grappling everyone. <laughs> I'm going to grapple the monkey's paw. Oh, gosh. Um, all right. So that being said, uh, welcome to episode 20, uh, monkey's paw. Uh, my name is Jake. I am the GM of this show. Uh, I am he, him, but I play all the characters, so I will be all over the place. Krug. I am Krug playing Krug Claudel, the human monk. Uh, both of us, he, him. Um, that's me. Moss. My name is Molly McIsaac. I play Moss Magnificent, and we are both she, her. Awesome. William and Jonas, you choose. Yeah, hey, I'm William, they, them, and I'm playing Remy Ashwell, the goblin fighter, also they, them. And this is not an educational stream. Uh, this is, this is a, if you want some education, check out uh, Game Gorgon on Q Times. There's some education there to talk about fat Pathfinder stuff. But this is more like a homebrew, and sometimes we're not going to get the rules right. So just like uh, be, be ready for that and, you know, whatever. And also, <laughs> I'm in a band. <laughs> What's happening right now? I'm in a van called Black Beach. William, William, William was totally calling uh, Krug out for not doing the spiel at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Usually we, we start it and we'll yeah. do our spiel. Uh, uh, I'm Jonas. Uh, Jonas Newhouse, they, them. And I'm playing the chameleon gnome storm druid, Robin. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, this is not educational Robin stream. Friends. Robin Farns or she, her. Thank you. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, I'm on Twitter at Jonas Newhouse. William and I are in a band called Glass Beach. We're everywhere at Glass Beach Band. And this is Mochi, and she will be playing Onion the Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I actually have to tell you all so- a funny little story before we get started. So, oh, um, uh, I get comments, uh, on our YouTube channel, and they go to my phone. And the other day, uh, I was talking to uh, Krug on Discord, and I got it, got a, a comment, and it was a hate comment on something. And I was like, oh, like, so dumb. Gosh. Uh, and then I got another comment a few minutes later. And like, how, how the notifications go is, is they only say the first, like, like sentence, the first right? line. Yeah. Yeah. And so it said, pronouns dot 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 this and i was like oh no another, <laughs> and i tap on it and i go to read it and it was like 
yes, normalize this. Thank you. And I was like, hey, <laughs> I feel better about Hell that. Yeah. Like, like my mood change was just so drastic. Oh, yeah. I was like, angry, happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, I just thought that was a, a fun little story that you all might enjoy. Anyways, so last we left off. Sorry, real uh, quick. I just want to, one thing before we start. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but no. uh, this is not an educational stream. I just want to <laughs> No, you have to talk about hijinks and handlebars. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's only fair. Yeah, because Jonas didn't let me finish. Uh, so <laughs> how about that at quarter quarters, everyone? <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, as we last left off, all of you were discussing what your plans for the future, uh, I, I believe it involved uh, turning around and getting the crew to uh, disavow the captain and, and separate himself uh, from the rest of them so that you could team up and get rid of the captain because you know that the captain's strength uh, you couldn't handle by yourselves. Uh, and so you would need uh, at least some of the crew. Now, I'm cool with uh, time traveling you to the next morning and giving you all a long rest, unless you would all like to do something else instead. I, would like to be I, I think part of the plan was that it was the fact that they were all drunk, yeah. so, that, so they'd have some loose lips, mm -hmm. you know. I know. I, they say those sink ships. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, never mind. We should time travel <laughs> to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so also, the ship is sunk. <laughs> I also yeah, want to make something clear about the plan, which yeah. is that I don't necessarily. I don't know why I'm not in character. I don't necessarily mind if they aren't helping us the crew isn't helping us i just don't want them helping the captain i think we can take the captain i just don't like i don't think we can take the captain and the entire crew that would be a mess does that make sense like, i agree if, if they if they want to save themselves i think it's helpful right like if they want to save themselves and they don't want to risk their necks just in case the captain wins they don't have to show aggression they just have to like find a reason not to be where we are find a reason not to react to what we're doing that's that's where my head's at you know yeah. Agreed. So warn them uh, of our plan, or no? no, I, no, no we no. definitely need to take their temperature we, first. It's like we have to, we have to, we have to prepare them for the plan without warning them of it. Without them knowing the plan's coming, they need to be ready for it and ready to not interfere or help us. Which unless I change their dispositions. In, in, yeah, unless. unless we're sure that they're on our side. Right. In which case, we can tell them whatever. It's just that's going to be hard being sure that they're they're into the idea of us killing the captain killing the captain no if there's <laughs> one thing i'm very good at it's persuasion and ex explanation and you know you said one thing to, uh, <laughs> well you know it's it's all kind of encompassed in the same thing of course <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> Uh, so perhaps I oh Krug is just losing <laughs> his actual shit right now. <laughs> One thing I'm good at is this and this. <laughs> it's very sorry, that, that got me hard. <laughs> well, uh, this not this kind of stream, Krug. <laughs> That's not what I. <laughs> that was not what I meant. When I said that, hey Moss, I think you should go upstairs. <laughs> I think you should go upstairs, and I think you should uh, take uh, take everyone's temperature, as Krug said. Yeah. Well, I don't have medical training. No, but you have a cloak that can listen, right? Oh yeah, that that sort of taking temperature. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I, if anyone I is feeling sick, I let me know. I enjoy the wordplay. I enjoy the wordplay thoroughly. Yeah. Um, it, it has been a moment since I've sparred verbally. I feel very uh, encouraged. <laughs> All right, Moss is gonna go up up top. All right, Moss, and... you start walking upstairs, and you can see that the party is still kind of going. Like, there's quite a bit of people that are uh, celebrating and having a good time. Uh, there are quite a few people also kind of just passed out. Um, the the water is really smooth, and the sails aren't going to full speed, so there isn't a ton of action going on. But the captain is still up top, staring away, making sure that everything is going the direction that he needs it to go. Uh, would he be within earshot if I was to start uh, dropping mm. hints 
I guess the, sh the ship is, is a pretty decent size and there is a lot of wind. Usually, like to communicate clearly, everyone usually has to yell to each okay. other. Um, you know, so I'm sure if you just have like pleasant conversation, like if you're not like super suspicious about it, like walking to the side, hey what's going on? you know like i'm sure like that would look funny but for the most part you you could probably have a conversation with some people could could i sing a song like i'm sure i have might have something in my repertoire about maybe like a crew that is uprising or something due to dr bad treatment from their leader some sort of sea shanty sure you can you can you can do what would you do with a drunken sailor uh but yeah <laughs> A shitty captain but like the uh, one that inspires <laughs> unions. like a union inspiring one <laughs> yeah yeah um so as you're kind of like trying to look around and gauge roll me a perception check okay uh 13. um all of the information i've given you already is 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 basically all you get um and before you can like start singing you know, you hear, yeah, hey, 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 Moss, Moss. Yes. So I got a crazy idea. All right. Why don't I, since you're all obsessed with making sure the captain doesn't get the monkey paw, right? What if we got the monkey paw? All right. I'm listening. I mean, it's kind of hard not to with. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh, but if we had it. Right, and we really, 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 really thought about our wishes. Right, right. We could do whatever the hell we wanted. Well, yes. I mean, isn't that a bit of hubris, though? Uh, Huba, what? <laughs> you know, literal hubris. I mean, I'm. I, I know a Cerberus. I, am, uh, I don't know a hubris, though. Mm. Oh, that was a I, good one. I suppose that I am um, practicing it myself, as you are some god power, and never mind. I'm being a hypocrite. <laughs> uh, basically, I was just saying that if someone desires to brandish that sort of power, even if they think that they are in the right the sort of person who always desires that sort of power is never in the right. That is hubris. Okay, so you want to be a goody two shoes is what I'm trying to. What no, I'm not to. necessarily. And I do think that I could do better for most living beings in this world. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. but I think that it is important to have self reflection. But then again, I think that this little group that I have formed and we have formed around one another, I suppose. Uh, could benefit from having this over the captain. Well, here, here's the other thing, and I don't know if you all are really aware of this, but the thing is, is that even if you just leave the monkey paw where it is, someone's going to find it, right? Right now, you have all of the tools to find the monkey paw. They're the only tools to find it. If you find it, you know where it's at. You know how to find it. You know where it's going to be because you've got the map, you've got the spyglass, and then you have it with you. See, the, here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that you can't destroy the spyglass and you can't destroy the map. And those two things show where the third thing is always. So if the monkey paw moves, guess what? The spyglass tells you where the, where the monkey paw's new location is. And if the spyglass moves, the map shows where the spyglass is so it's they're all interconnected so if you just leave the monkey ball where it is someone's gonna find it the whole crew is going to have the spyglass and the map and even if you keep the map and the spyglass someone inevitably is going to accidentally come across the monkey ball so really you're just kind of letting it out there aren't you this is certainly compelling, and I see what you're saying, but there's one issue. Okay. Exactly right. how are we going to get to the monkey paw? So the spyglass shows you where well, it yes, is. Yes, yes, I know that, but I okay. mean the actual getting there on the ship. There's only four of us, and you, and I don't think that you're very good at steering a ship. 
<laughs> well, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think the four of us, or five of us, I guess, uh, are going to be very strong, and we're not going to be able to take over the entire ship. That's That's suicide. That's not smart. We shouldn't do that. So, my thoughts, we let them lead us there, then we jump off the boat, we steal the spyglass, we steal the map, and we go and take it ourselves. Well, then how do we get off of the island? You have a monkey's ball! You've got wishes! You could do whatever you want! Oh, that's true. All right, well, all right, Cloaky, I'm still going to leave you up here to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen. I'll, I'll, I'll listen along. Let, let what I said just sink in. Think about it for a little I'm bit. I'm going to go have a, a slight round table with my knights. <laughs> I made a reference. Uh, uh, <laughs> like the moon is round and the a knight. No, no, I, no. It was, a, it was a tale I read as a girl. Anyway, I'm going downstairs. Thank you for your input. And uh, please keep your... Ears? Do you have ears? Yes. I uh, just do me a favor. Don't put me somewhere I'm gonna get wet. Oh no! I will. Uh, I will hang you here with the other cloaks. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can put them on a barrel or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like sitting out on the side, like yeah. I'll hang you here with this. Oh, monkey's paw. Oh, <laughs> we, we, weirdly it. enough, all of the hangers are shaped like monkey's paws. No. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, all right, cool. So uh, you 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 put Cloaky down. Uh, what would you like to do then? Uh, I suppose I'm going to go present the demon's plan to my <laughs> friends. <laughs> to see, it doesn't seem dubious at all. <laughs> all right, so you you are all sitting there waiting for Moss to start going upstairs and performing and starting starting the task. And shortly afterwards, Moss walks back down without Cloaky. Um, how did the performance go? Was it good? Well, uh, Cloaky presented a very interesting proposition, and I was wondering how we all felt about it. Now, we I think that we can agree that the power of the monkey paw should be possessed by no one, even those with the most pure of intentions, except perhaps huh? us, because we know what's going on in the world perhaps better than most, right? So why don't we take the monkey paw? I, okay, so I like, was, like uh, just a moment ago, like, well, I mean, what I was saying, I just, what I was saying before, I said that we should get the monkey paw so that nobody else could get it and then just like not use it. That is what I said. Like, so the problem with the monkey paw, as far as like, I think what Robin was telling me was that um, it doesn't matter how good your intentions are. It's like the monkey's paw wants to screw up your wishes and like make you feel bad. So yeah, yes, it's yes, yes. But but wouldn't it be better to have it in our possession and we just don't pay attention to the siren song of it than yeah. to kill yeah. a bunch of people and then I don't, wonder I don't... who was going to go for it next and then we're just going to have to be on a continuous murder spree. Wait, 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 wait. Are you just presenting me my own idea? Because like when I brought this up, everyone was like, no, no we shouldn't even go for the monkey's paw. But well, like, well I, Randy, I if it makes so. you feel any better, it, that's still the, I think the right call. Because like you're saying, oh, we shouldn't pay attention to the siren's call as though it's the easiest thing in the world. But that's not necessary. We don't know anything about it. It's a magical item. It could force you to make three wishes or you die. Yeah, there's yeah. probably some sort of like, like thing. Like I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a non-mechanical way to say there might be a will save or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we don't know what kind of power it would have over us beyond just the general uh, temptation. I, I will say, I mean, look, if there's no way to destroy it, if we believe that we can withstand the temptation, it, uh, it I understand where you're going, but I don't know that we're ready for that and like you say we know the world better than anyone but i don't think that's true we were in a small pocket of it that we thought was our entire world for our, our whole lives until just not long ago i, I wouldn't put us in charge of much that matters 
But yes, we wish people, like people don't know about the Zombos. No one has seen what we've seen. I, for one, feel much more bolstered and prepared than the normal townsfolk. And I think that we have been entrusted this task by Arturo. So obviously he sees something in us that makes us a great band of adventurers that he continues to put our lives in risk this way. And I don't know. I, I'm not trying to represent your idea, Remy. I thought it was a good idea the first time, but I understand that there is this moral quandary. And I just feel like, what is the difference between trying to resist a monkey paw and not killing an entire crew of people, even if they're terrible people who take slaves, and just getting the paw, you know? Who is killing the entire crew? Yeah, I don't know. When was that? Well, like, I feel like that's eventually what yeah? it's going to come down to, right? Oh well, no. The, no. The, well, the plan, the plan. We try was... plans. We try plans, and then we end up murdering. Uh, I don't think we could take the whole crew. Yeah, <laughs> that's the whole point. We're trying to get the crew to not. We want. We don't want to fight the crew. We only want to fight. If the we captain. fight the crew, there there will be some murdering of some people that will happen, but it will be us. <laughs> we will be murdered. I think. Um, well, I'm not, happy. I'm happy. Where we didn't murder people, but yeah, we do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's hard not to. I mean, look, Moss and I fight. It's hard to not kill with the kind of fighting that we can do. You know. Well, to be fair, people are just so killable. Uh, yeah, that's killable. That's people. true. No, I just mean like it is so easy to kill someone. You just like it, slip they and you started, push it they hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I mean like. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, what I don't we, mean like, morally? <laughs> <laughs> when, well, I mean, what do we do? That I generally, at least, think that they deserve it. And in this situation, I really only see one frog that deserves that, which is the captain. I don't. I mean, like Bo Bora Boragar Bor Borgar. Oh man, what was the medic's name? Bodak. 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 Thank you. No. Bogard. Bodak, oh, Bodak. Bodak is the is the doctor. Yeah. Bogard yeah. is the captain. Yeah. Got it. But yeah, they're so sim. Anyways, they all have, yeah, they've all got B names. Every you single know, frog has a B name. I should be able to remember it because it's literally Bo Doc, as in Doctor. There's one that does it. <laughs> it's almost as if, anyways. That was in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the one that doesn't it was one that I named. <laughs> well, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. I I don't think we should kill the crew. That's not my intention in this situation. I Do I think that it might spiral out of control if we don't play our cards right? Absolutely. But um, that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to resolve the situation with as few casualties as possible before involving this magical item. And if what you're saying is true about the way that the map and the compass and the paw interact, why don't we just take the map and the compass and keep those things with us? They don't seem to be as dangerous. Well, what if someone just like stumbles across the monkey's paw? That's possible. That's possible. But um, I mean, it, again, if it, if it if the item puts you in a situation where you have to make wishes, why would we want to be the ones to do it? What if our wishes were like, I wish that everyone in the world had a cake? I, I cake. think wishing for everyone in the world having anything's a terrible idea. What okay, if, wait, wait, oh, wait. What I wish for, every... for the whole world to know my name, and then it would hurt no one but me. Well, then, if everyone in the world knows your name, so like, so then I could see a wish going this way, like suddenly. Um, like the monkey's paw, uh, makes like takes over to control of your body, and you murder like most of the population of the world. So there's only like five people left, and then everyone in the world would know your name because you are the mass killer, most the magnificent killer. So are like, you, are 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 you the person who who writes wishes into being? Confused. The monkey's paw. <laughs> yeah, no. are, you the, are you the monkey's paw, Remy? I am just saying. Like, I'm trying job. to think. I'm just trying to th straight, I'm trying honestly. to think with the like how could I screw up a wish like what's another one what's an easy one is there possibly a way um, we could wish on the monkey's paw that would not get screwed because I think about everyone in the world has cake well then what if it turns half of the Every people in the world into cake and then or like the it turns everybody's arms into cake or something like that yeah you know? I guess some people don't have arms what if we specifically said that everyone should never go hungry again with sustainable agriculture and no violence and that well, is our wish i mean i hate to be simple but one way to accomplish that is just if everyone's dead <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah that's true that's true um, yeah. there is a route of um consideration that we haven't really looked into moss um wheel or woe can you What's that? Ask your Moss does that spell thing. Does, oh, spell oh, I keep I keep forgetting that I have that. 
Maybe just ask it because I mean, yeah. it's monkey augury. paw uh, augury. Yeah, could you uh, yeah. maybe ask? Yes. You know, if we get the monkey's paw and don't make any wishes with it. Or don't intend to. Well, like, would that go well? I Wait. don't think you can go. We can't go that far ahead. It has to uh, be for like something we're about to do. Sorry, so, out like, of character. Like, really quick, do we know that when Moss uses augury, that Asmodeus talks to Moss, or is that something that only Moss experienced, so we didn't get? None on. of you, yeah. Moss didn't say a thing about that. Okay. No, I get to I get to FaceTime with my my new crush. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I'm aiming higher. I want a god. <laughs> well, we are currently we're currently trying a plan. So, like, mm. let us figure out if that is going to work. Sure, yeah, yeah. Like, well, we're on. trying to unionize the ship or like get like uh, uh cultivate some unrest. I know. I know what I can ask. I can ask. Whether our current plan is going to work. No, no, no. Hold on. Let me figure out. This is this is a this is an exercise in thought. I enjoy these. All right. I'm going to ask it. <clears throat> augury, not someone. I'm going to ask it. Uh, if our current plan will work. Or if we immediately shift gears into the other one where we do nothing and wait until we get to the monkey paw and then steal it, will work. Which which branch? Right now we are at a crossroads, you see? And then it, it splits and I just need to know which fork to go down. So yeah. augury works specifically for uh, an action you're going to take within the next 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Can I kind of get around it by saying like a, 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 like a split path? <laughs> The, the spell only talks about results up to 30 minutes into the future. So it can tell you, yeah, it's going to work for 30 minutes. And then mm -hmm. in two days, when you get to the monkey's paw, it's a disaster because that was further than 30 minutes away. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm trying to think like... Can we ask if we can... Um, like... Because Moss didn't do her song yet. Can we ask like, if Moss does her song... Will we be able to like accomplish a good level of like unrest or uh, union sympathy uh, in the next thirty minutes? Yeah. How about I mean... how about how about this? If if Moss does a performance, will we gain useful information in thirty minutes? Well, uh, again, is that, again, is it... It, it's not a yes or no. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. It's only so the only so you get bad. will things go well in that? Yeah, you get a whale results are good. Whoa, yeah. a whale, whale and whoa, and nothing. Those are your four options basically. But yep. I I give uh I give uh, a little bit more just because it, that's a dumb thing. I like I like to give a little bit more to it, like a little bit more flavor. So sure, sure, sure. Um, so you could definitely say, uh, you know, uh, will my plans of, uh, organizing, a, a crew together to, to go against the captain, will those be, uh, how will that go? That yeah. would, that would be a, an adequate question. All right. I'm going to postulate that to everyone and see if they agree with that. Yeah. I mean, I think that is the most that we can do at the moment. So yes. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to go over here into the corner and ask my magic what's going to go on. Uh, I think we've I think think we flavored it as uh, what was it tea leaf tea readings? Leaves. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, you go over to the corner. Um, you know, you grab one of the the half drank mugs uh, that have been left uh, down from people who have gone downstairs to pass out. You reach into your pouch and you get a few leaves and you crumple them up and put them inside. You give a small incantation uh, and you just pour the liquid out onto the onto the floor, and the leaves form. Um, and none of you see this. Not all of you. I mean, you all see this, but all you see is the leaves lay down onto the ground uh, and, and like look like nothing. But Moss, you see them moving together, and you can see that they're gaining a shape and you can see Osmodius's face. Mm -hmm. He goes, Hey, how's it going? Hi, Osmodius. So, uh, calling upon me again already, I see. Hmm? I missed you, I'm sorry. Well, what is it this time? What do you need? Well, we're in a bit of a pickle, you see. Mm -hmm. uh, we're headed towards the monkey's paw and uh, 
I'm trying to find a good way to get your insight on whether we should have inaction or action. So I think that the way that we figured out to get around this, because I know you're not going to give me the answer that easily, you sly dog, you. No, never, never. But uh, I think that I would like to know if I go upstairs and I perform one of my beautiful sea shanty ballads for this unruly, intoxicated crew of strange, amphibious people, will that bring forth civil unrest to the level that we do not have to fear them in the future? So, here's the thing with that. There's some good and there's some bad to that. So good, yes, you must do have the skills and the ability to gather a group of people to go against the captain. Oh, well, thank you. But I appreciate that vote of confidence. You're not going to get them all. And when you don't get them all and you start something, it's going to be a real bloody mess. Yes, that sounds like uh, perhaps some small level of civil war. So, that being said... It's 50 50. Could go really good. Could have a nice shiny new boat, nice spyglass, the location of the monkey's paw, all <laughs> to yourself. Or you could all be dead. That's, uh, that's all I'm going to give you. Well, that's not particularly helpful, my dear, but I do appreciate you trying. <laughs> have a good one. And you see the leaves like start to like roll away. Y'all ever think she's just making it up when she does that? <laughs> Either way, but yeah. No, I don't think she's just making it up. I mean, usually when she does magic, there's like a... Oh, yes, then... magic comes in a bunch of different ways, and she is Mosty Magnificent. Crip, all right, Crip, all right. Crip, Crip, yeah, I yeah. want you to know, do you see these? I can I do. hear what you're saying. Oh, I mean, I wasn't really trying to hide it, but... Yeah. If, if, if you... I didn't mean any offense by it. It's just, you know, it's just very non-descript magic and that's not what i'm used to seeing if, and if i don't know anything would, about magic if you would like i could make myself glow or add some sparkles or something if that would help rest your soul no i think i'll i think i'll be fine thanks though well i have uh, n news but it is neither good nor bad all right okay, okay. uh there's a 50 50 chance that causing civil unrest could work that's about what I was anticipating. A little better, honestly, than I was thinking. Yeah, no, so, a little higher of a chance than I yeah, thought. Okay, yeah. so that makes me feel pretty good, actually. Um, I mean, it's way better than zero. Yeah. That's like yeah. 50 better than zero. That's yeah. just like... Almost, and that's a lot. That's so much. That's half. I, I, do have to say, sure thing. I do have to say that my nondescript ma magic told me this, though. That it will either cause civil unrest to a level where we could get some of the crew, but there will still be a war within the crew, or we will all die. That is more like what is I was it? expecting. Yeah, like, yeah. It, yeah. It, it's like right now it doesn't give us a decent chance of dying now. Okay, wait. So going back to the the plan of your cloak, um, the more specific, just waiting to get to the island. Uh, if we go out, the last time we went on a a trip, like to find the map. Um, the big frog captain man came along with us, and mm -hmm. there was a moment where I thought about killing him and putting him in a hole in the ground. Oh, no. me too. Right. If we go out, there's no way the entire crew will come with us. If and there, I don't think that Bogard would let us go on to get the monkey's paw without Bogard Amen. being there. Yeah, yeah. So if we just like go along on the mission and then kill Bogard away from the ship and get the monkey's paw, like. That is a. I feel like that is a good compromise of both your your um, article of clothing's plan and also my own. But Bogard, I mean, Bogard's stronger than us. So if there is a moderate challenge, but Bogard is not stronger than us. I well, mean, individually, Bogard. I mean? Yeah, I mean individually. So oh, if yeah. there's if there's some sort of like challenge between the ship and the monkey's paw that Bogard needs us for, he'll bring us. But if there's not. Why would Bogard bring us at all? So it, what I'm saying is if we wait and then Bogard's like, cool, we're here. Everybody stay here. I'm going to get the monkey's paw. 
that is not how it will happen. We have three we have three missions that we are supposed to go on, and then we get set free. They they captured us for this. This is our third mission. We are supposed to go out with Bogard, and then if we succeed and we survive, we are going to be let free at the next port. That is like That's how the th saying, those are yeah. the rules. Those are like how it is supposed to go. If we are to believe the big frogman. Yeah. I mean, we don't know for sure like what the plan is for like group composition for the retrieval of the monkey's paw, which I'll remind you, we officially don't know what we're going for, right? The monkey's paw is secret information that we have? Is that Cor yes. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind of when we're talking to the captain or anybody. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, no. I, good thing you, you brought that up. I was thinking about going up to the captain and being like, hey, so how far from the monkey's paw? <laughs> Oh, that. you see, I was about to sing a song called The Quest for the Monkey's Paw, but I'm glad that you said something. Yeah, I was just too clear of, of that. Um, <laughs> is there really a song called Quest for the Monkey's Paw? Oh, well, I've just written it. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's about us, you see. I will sing it to us sometime. Once yeah, we we'll have to save that for later. <laughs> once we've successfully completed this mission. It, if we want, I could go up to... I could probably talk to the captain and see, like, what his plan is for our final mission. Like, how... Many of us there will be. I, I can do that non-suspiciously. That seems like good information. I think, I, that you could, I think that you could even put it into his mind that it should just be us in case one of his crew members decides to mutiny and take the monkey paw for themselves. But we don't know it's the well, monkey we don't know the monkey paw. <laughs> yeah, right. but we say it's the item. Say whatever, well, what, I, whatever I you're going I, for. The, the money. I, I think. I think when we're talking to the captain, we just assume it's money because that yeah. treasure. Yes. Just say treasure. Pirate, pirate treasure. treasure. Yeah, treasure. yeah. There you go. All right. Say booty. Oh, booty. 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 I think it might be a hard sell, as impressive as we all are, to to make him think that he can trust us more than his crew. Because here's the thing: this captain trusts, uh, like, subservience. I guess more than anything, and. Even mm. though we've been putting on a good show, at least like a few of us have, the crew, I think, kind of have us beat there. I will kill this man. Yeah, see, see that's the thing. And, and I think he'll smell that a little bit. Um, not that he doesn't trust us, but I don't think he'll trust us more than the ones who won't kill him. I don't think he trusts me. I don't think he trusts you. Because no. I will kill him. Yeah, I don't think he trusts you. I think he, I think he uh, uh, acknowledges your worth to him. Um, but it doesn't really make it better, does I it? I chop an eel in half. I can you cut this frogman down. You did, and it was very impressive. And now I have this cool sword with a jaguar on it. Yeah. And I am talking to like a woman who has a jaguar around the, uh, her shoulders, and she is a god. Yeah, I'm still kind of wrestling with the we're all sort of god chosen. Like that's a. Are you? Are you both doing okay with that? Because it's it's a lot to take in, right? Oh, I was born for this. <laughs> I suppose for you, yeah, but... My faith uh, treats responsibility as an honor, not as a burden. Okay, well... well did you just read that off of, like, a book? <laughs> no. Did you, I like, mean, open a page and you were not like, like just on. now. <laughs> Wait, not let me not like, literally in this moment, but yeah. I guess Wait, in the on, past that was in a book somewhere, probably. Do you want to know what my god does? Are you, uh, are my you... god, defend your people, provide for those who need you, oppose those who unjustly <laughs> lord power over others, demonstrate devotion to things you love. Those are the things. Oh, that just like came into me, like from my god, I think. I mean, uh, I, I don't know why, why you're being so mean to me. That's just, that's just <laughs> I'm sorry. the way I was raised. Sorry, I mean, that's, that's fine if you want to, if you want to be all aggressive about it, I guess. And sure. then we, right. and then we right. laugh till the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I really out of character now. I do not know what else we can do tonight because it just, seems like just the yeah. thing that I mentioned. But I can do yeah. that in the morning if we want to. But also, just heal me before the morning, real quick. Yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> also, I'll don't let me die in the morning. I think rather than tonight. Okay. Cool. No, Wait, he's in a good mood tonight. No. Well, who are you healing tonight? Krug. Krug, you need healing. Yeah. Yeah, you want to heal before you take a long rest versus when you wake up. Because with then you're spells, because then your spells. No, uh, come Jonas back. was talking about uh, talking to the captain about. Oh. Like... Yeah, sorry. Oh. I'll talk to the captain in the morning. I'll heal Krug tonight. Gotcha. Um, it, I don't know that I have heal spells left. I do have one. Cool. Use it. Roll it. Alrighty, and it's only level one, but that is going to be one D version. Eight. Yeah. Give me that health, please. Nice, 15. Health, I rolled a 7. Thank you. Nice. Uh, crew, do you need any more healing? Do you need someone to... Nope. Roll 
That was perfect. good enough. All right, you all uh, going to take a rest for the night, I assume? I think so, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, so you all uh, rest for the evening, uh, and throughout the night, there is a little bit of dancing, a little bit of drinking. Uh, you definitely hear frogs r- going over to the edge of the boat. And, <laughs> um, and you all wake up very peacefully the next morning. I'm going to uh, wake up a little bit earlier than I normally would. I'm going to put on the hand wraps that I found. I'm going to just like try practicing with them and see if anything happens. Because we we already know that we already know about the cloak. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to try and see if anything cool happens as I'm like sparring the air. We know we know about the cloak and we know about the bastard sword. Mm-hmm. Well, do, oh, we know, we, do we know that that is what is... I think we I were assuming that I don't it was... I, don't think, I think you're. I think you're assuming it because it happened after you got the sword, and it didn't well, happen. Any. Here's the thing: like Robin mentioned it, and as a as a whole, we didn't really take to that idea in character. But yeah, um, we can say in the time since maybe it's it's subtle. Well, no, like, no. I, I'm saying I'm saying out of character, you have yeah. figured out two okay. out of the four objects. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm I'm talking about in character. Is there justification for me to assume this yeah. does something? Which there is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try spying with it and see if anything happens. <laughs> You start uh, boxing your shadow, and 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 you feel strong. You feel the energy, uh, you know, coursing through you. Uh, moments uh, as you as you stop and take a break after you you know are sparring pretty heavily for a while, you feel like your arms, like underneath your skin where your muscles are, are actually just hardened rock. But you know, it doesn't hurt. It just it feels just like there's something within you. I mean, I don't get it, but okay. And after a moment of relax, it just kind of forms back into muscle. All right, I guess. (laughs) Uh, So uh, Moss, Remy, and Robin, you are all also awake. Yeah, um, Robin probably would have, because she normally wakes up very early. And she, like, yeah, everyone except for Moss does. Yeah. I need um, my baby sleep. <laughs> um, there's not as much access to like the nature I'm used to, but I think I want to like find a spot with a good view of like the ocean from the boat and just do my like morning playing okay. um, on the sham and do my refocusing with nature and try to reach out to God's Ray if I can. Um, do me a favor when you get up to the to the to the deck, roll me a perception check. Okay, I love those. That is seventeen. 17. Uh, okay, so you look around and you see the captain is still there. It doesn't look like he's left once. Hmm. Um, I think I'm gonna before I even start playing, I want to make my way over to him. Okay. Uh, and just like stand there for a second and then say, uh, hey there, guy. Captain. Been here all night. He kind of like, uh, kind of shakes his head and, and looks at you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been here all night. Um, you are um, really focused on that spyglass, aren't you? Do you want to see a magic trick? Mm, um, sure, yeah. Come with me. Uh, and he closes the spyglass. He puts it in his, in his side pouch, looks at his second in command and says, keep going. Come with me. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to follow him. He walks down the stairs and he goes to his room. Uh, he unlocks the door and opens it and walks in and goes, come right in. Wow. This is a nice room you've got, Captain. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Do you well, walk in? Yeah, I assume you yeah, walk yeah, in. I know. I'll go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He walks further in and he turns around and goes, close the door for me. Of course, of course. I will close the door. Uh, you can go ahead and lock it too if you'd like. Okay, um, I'm going to. Uh, what what would the role be? Would it be thievery to pretend to lock it? Yeah. Okay. Um, let like me deception. see if I'm good at that. Deception. They're, they're the same for me. Um, hmm. Um, I'm gonna. Pre- can I? Can I do a, a quick little like insight effective check on this? Sense his motives. Um, okay. See if I'm safe with him. Um, in for the time being. That's 18. 
He specifically said the words, you can lock the door if you would like. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, then I'll just leave it. Okay. Yeah. He walks and he's going through his stuff and he pulls out some rope. He goes, do me a favor. And he, and he throws it to you very lightly. He's not like chucking at you. He's just trying to like toss it to you. He goes, Make sure that that's real rope. Just, just give a tug. Check it out. Okay. All right. You're a funny guy, Captain. I'm liking this. Um, you can do a crafting check. Make sure it's real rope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Funny how? Funny like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a nine. A nine. Okay. Uh, it it looks like real cloth, or it looks like real rope. Sorry, not cloth. Yeah. Well, as far as I can tell, Captain, this is uh, a real rope. Um. Better than any rope I would have made. Uh, but yeah, seems, seems seems solid. And he asks for it back. I'll, I will toss it back to him the same way he did to me. He he takes it and he starts tying it a little bit and he puts his hand in two loops and he pulls on it. And, it, and he's basically handcuffed himself. And uh-huh. he says, come here, ch- check to make sure that this is this is tight, that, that this is something I can't get out of. Okay, okay. yeah, 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 for sure. Um... I'm going to do that. Uh, and I am like trying to check and make sure like it's actually tight. Okay. Um, is that another crafting or is this like a perception? You choose what you would like to roll. Um, I'll roll perception. It's a little bit better for me. And I feel like I'm not looking at the make of the rope as much as I was before. This is more just how it currently is. Hell yeah. I rolled a one. That's 12. <laughs> uh, uh, it looks like it is thoroughly tied on there and that it's not a, he's not going to be able to get himself out without help. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, you've tied yourself up. Good captain is would you prefer. I locked the door or cause, cause I, I, I did choose not to. I've just, I hadn't, hadn't thought about it. it just, just watch this, watch this. And, okay, he, yeah. and he turns around showing you his back <laughs> and he moves a little bit and he turns around and he holds the rope in his hand. And he's no longer tied in it. Um, and he goes, but, Ta-da! How did? But you, ca- wait, Captain, I am baffled uh, for the obvious reason of of th- that you ca- could accomplish such a feat. But further baffled, Captain, that you kept this from me till now. That was incredible. Do your people know you can do this? No, 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 no. This is a little secret between us. This is a secret for you, Captain. Now, this is amazing. Do you want me to show you how I did it? Oh, I, I've, I've heard a true magician doesn't reveal his secrets, but I mean, I assume you know... You something always about. need an assistant. Uh, I mean, I would love to see... Yeah, I would love to see how. Do me a favor and roll me a perception. Okay. Um. Ooh. Is it worth using a hero point for this? I want to learn how to do this. Um, I'm going to use a hero point. Whatever. I rolled a four, and I don't want to roll a four. And then I rolled a one. That's good punishment. (laughs) Uh, That's 12. Okay. Uh, He seems sincere. Okay. Uh, He goes, all right. And he does what seems to be the exact same loops that he did before. Go on, put your hands in in the holes. Okay. Okay. I put my hands in the holes. And he lets go and he steps back. And he goes, pull on them. Tighten them against your wrists. All right. (laughs) I do. Wait, yeah, yeah, I do, I do. I'm gonna do it. This is okay. Try to get out of them. Okay, um, I'm gonna just like slip my shaman in my pocket. I imagine that I had been holding it, um, and I'm gonna try to escape. That's what is that to break out of? It's uh, that ac- acrobatics or athletics. To escape. Okay, uh, I'll do acrobatics if that. Or were you saying it's it's, it's it, athletics is to try and, and 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 pull it apart like physically, athletics yeah. it would be to try and shimmy your hands out, or thievery would be the way to like basically untie it. Cool, um, and you did you did mean acrobatics to like shimmy out, right? What you choose the role? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do acrobatics then. 
Um, that is uh, 14. You are unable to get out of it. Can I try again? Sure. <laughs> I won't try a third time. That is 16. It can't get out of it. All right, you're rolling mm -hmm. so bad. Yeah. Um, it's also not my greatest stat, but um, I, I, I can't, Captain. Um, it's a good knots, which is not surprising for a sailor. What, what's the trick? Uh, he he goes uh, and he goes, may I? And he puts his hands out to like show you the trick. Yeah, please. I'll hold my hands out to him. He grabs the rope and he pulls it as hard as he can and lifts you up off of your feet. And he looks at you and goes, do you really think that I can't see through your little disguise? I was hoping you would either not or just be polite enough to not bring it up. And he he like sways you back and throws you back up against the wall. I'm going to do my best. Uh, I can't reach my sham, I think, right now, but I want to try to whistle a C flat or a B flat. Okay. Um, which uh, I, roll a performance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking back, I realized I said G flat in the original episode, but I said B flat last time, and that's what I want to canonize it as. What? what I rolled you know? a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> um, I rolled a twenty plus six for performance. Uh, all right, I need everyone to roll a perception check. Seventeen. Okay. Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, natural one. Oh no. Well, we got it. <laughs> well, I, at least maybe could be a DC thirty. Who knows? It was, it, well, it, it was a natural twenty. If you rolled a ten or higher, you can hear it. Oh, like not rolled. If you got a ten or higher. Right. Right. Cool. Cool. Sick. Um, I mean, I'm assuming I'm down just by like the beds and stuff. So. Yeah, you all were. Uh, oh, right. No. Well, what was your total moss? Uh, six, right? Or perception five? I rolled. Oh one. yeah, you rolled a natural one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you do not hear this. You're just distracted with all the things going on, and you like. I, in I, fact, I Moss, this. you're still asleep. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Dreaming of, I'm having a dream about Asmodeus and Scott fighting over me. Uh, so, uh. Yeah, Krug and uh, Remy, you hear this whistle. Was that they be flat? I don't know, but it was definitely your wife. You, you think we should go walk over there? I don't. I don't think we should walk over there. I think we should run. That means like there's some danger or something. Um, All right. I mean, is there, is there anyone down in the base, like the basement of the ship, with us? Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of drunk frogs. Cool. Then I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna run up to the top deck. I'm and I'm gonna down. grab. And before I run up, I'm gonna grab my bastard sword. Hell yeah. Okay. Wait. Are you gonna wake Moss up? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna hurry. Krug can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'll start running. <laughs> I'll see Remy turn around and grab their bastard sword. Then turn around and run off and think. Man, Rami, you're so silly, always forgetting. And they'll turn around and be like, oh, where's Moss? And then I'll turn <laughs> Moss, you are shook and awake by, uh, by Krug. Moss, oh, Moss, God. there's not no time. Just get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. She I'll actually has the urgency and gets up. Uh, oh, yeah. and, and I'm assuming Cloakie's back down here with me. Uh, uh, you left Cloaky up oh, on okay. the deck all night. Cloaky. <laughs> 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 all right, well, I'm going to uh, – is Onion with me? Onion's with me. Yeah. Onion, onion, uh, onion. I assume just it, it stays in your side pouch unless you specifically leave her somewhere. Yeah. All right. I grab my side side pouch with onion and I run after Krug and and also grab Cloaky on the way if that's possible. Yeah. As you're running, you see Cloaky like just like laying on the same barrel, uh, just like not moving. I okay. mean, of course it's a cloak. Why would it move? <laughs> Just <laughs> good morning, good morning Cloaky. Hope you had a nice night. Something's happening. And I grab uh, <laughs> That's all you hear from Cloaky. <laughs> uh uh um Robin. Uh yeah. he's standing over you as or he's standing across the room after he's thrown you, and he slowly starts walking towards you. Yeah. 
You know, I'm not that stupid. I never thought you were stupid. Just well, thought you were you did. No, I thought you were a jerk who hates women, and I thought I could get around that. And I don't know. Clearly, that didn't work. I thought I had a good disguise. I am everything that you saw in me, by the way. I just uh, also happen to be a woman. He he walks over like and is like, uh, as he's walking closer. Would you like to do something other than talk? Currently, um, how I am I'm imagining yeah. it, you are on the ground on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a so sitting I'm, position. I want him to like continue feeling very much like he has the control here, and I'm going to stay where I am um, until it seems like he's going to like swing for me or like try to grab me or hurt me. Um, at which point, I'm prepared to shapeshift. So he walks all the way towards you, and he just looks furious. And he reaches out and he grabs the door handle and swings it open. He says, "Get out of here! Just leave! Get out!" Oh. As that happens, as he's yelling, get out, uh, uh, Moss, Krug, and Remy, uh, in reverse order, uh, shows up. <laughs> uh, the, so the three of you see the door swing open and yelling, get out. Hey, what is, what's going on here? Are you okay, what? Captain? Captain, are you all right? I'm here to protect you. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> hi, it's me, Robin. Um, the Captain... I had a disguise on, and the captain saw it through it, and uh, I. Oh, it is, it is embarrassing. Oh, and this whole time, and you didn't tell us. I here's the thing: the captain's a sexist. I can't help that. He's powerful, you know. He's strong. He leads a good ship, but he's a sexist. Oh, so you all know each other, huh? <laughs> I didn't know that before. This is so like a Monty Python sketch. That <laughs> 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 he's a sexist. <laughs> <laughs> The captain's a sexist. I can't help that. <laughs> I said, get out. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to like go around him to go out the door. Um, but I want to like cross behind him and like make eyes. Well, no, with I mean, he, or can you're, I? You're so you're like up against the wall. He uh -huh. has opened the door and has like opened it up. And so literally the only way to go through the door is in front of him. Like if okay. you were to walk behind it, you'd, you would like walk behind him and then have to close the door and then reopen oh, sure, it. Sure, sure. I was you picturing. Know I mean? yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's he's yeah. like, like, like open the door as in like if someone opens the door for someone else. Right. And mm -hmm. the, the other three are on the outside of the door. Okay. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to leave. Um, and I'm going to, uh, mouth to Remy, uh, sneakily, I'm going to try to make it so the captain can't see it. I'm going to mouth, uh, probably in Goblin, be right back and like look down at the floor as I say that. Um, and then I am going to go downstairs, but let me, so, yeah. You, so you roll up a, a, a stealth check and then, yeah. uh, Remy roll me, I believe it's a flat check to read someone's mouth. Yeah. What is, uh, what I can read lips. So cool. That's a good stuff. I think it's a performance or not performance, a uh, perception. Sorry. Yeah. I'm at 22. Okay. So yeah, you yeah, can yeah. easily stealth that, or at least you feel yeah. that you can stealth that. Mm -hmm. from the uh, it's a, I'm a 68 on a society check. Oh, society check. It, cool. it actually says that if you're uh, not in encounter mode, you can just do it. Oh, for real? This Hold is on. definitely in an encounter. I'm just throwing yeah. it out there. I, I, I mean, mean we, easier, we, you can do this automatically. Wow, I, I used to be screwing that up. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be making rolls for no reason, baby. I, yeah. I would definitely say that this is yeah, in an yeah. encounter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is not leisure by any means. No, yeah. I got you, I got you, I got you. Well, not great. Um, Let me see what my society is. Oh, not, not horrible. 15. A 15? Okay, I think the DC is a 15. So uh, you are good. You are able to read this. Cool. Yeah, so just be right back, and and I'm I, I think it's clear what I'm communicating that I yeah, yeah yes it is clear what you're communicating, but I would um we can no, talk uh, yeah if I we, would knowing that like there are fr like a bunch of frogs down there and there's not going to be an easy way to get up sure um unless you turn into a, a bug which I can do um, yeah I um, also like yeah I mean here's the thing getting <laughs> getting down there I'm not just going to climb up in front of all of the the frogs yeah um but this is like cool. Yeah, uh, Remy will shrug. <laughs> uh, and I think, I I mean, like, if, if I can uh, uh, at all get this across, 
it's like a shrug and then like ra raised eyebrows like mm, should that go <laughs> should I? um I, yeah and, and i think if that can be communicated what is responded if i can communicate it is if you want to mm. find time if you want to and then i'm gonna go downstairs okay so captain what exactly happened in in here the stranger is a woman Roll me a deception. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love I love this. <laughs> 18. <laughs> mm, where's my D20? There it is. You know damn well what's going on. Get back to the quarters you have one more mission and then you're out of my hair okay now when when you say we have one more mission is that like where we are headed right now like will that be soon how like a couple of days like hopefully in two days you'll be free okay i'll drop you off at the nearest island after our mission Okay. Is our mission perhaps on an island and are you being cheeky and you're going to drop us off on that island and then just like go away? He thinks about it? No, but that's starting to sound like a really good idea. Okie dokie, I'll go downstairs. <laughs> what is Moss and Krug doing? I'm also, I'm just going downstairs. I'm there. <laughs> I'm just following along. I just woke up. I am not ready for any of this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, I, I'll be explaining what happened to Moss in hushed tones on the way. It's like, remember that whistle thing? Yeah, like apparently Remy can tell what note is which note, and he's like, oh, there's there's a there's a B flat or a G G G minor. What was it again? Was it M? I don't know anything about flat. music. Yeah, uh, and then and then they grabbed their bastard sword and ran off, and 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 then we woke you up, and and then nothing happened. Uh, the captain, after you start walking away, the captain closes his door, locks it, and goes back up to where he was. So, do you what would uh, Cloaky is on you, Moss? And Cloaky's like, God damn it, you left me out there all night. That wasn't a part of the plan. I'm sorry, Cloaky. I got sleepy and I can't look like this without a solid eight hours. Oh, God. You would not believe. How disgusting these freaking people are. Oh my ooh, god. Ooh, ooh, I love gossip. Please tell me. <laughs> well, first of all, they were vomiting everywhere. I. Oh god, did they get it on you? No, 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 no. I keep it. Oh, bleh, bleh. I would jump in the ocean after that happened. Ugh. You would have never seen me again. I mean, I would have been in trouble, but still. No. <laughs> they didn't vomit, but oh my. They had. It, the smell was atrocious. Ugh. Do you know what these things eat? They literally eat pickles, oranges, and bread. That's it. It's gross. Sometimes some of them have fish, and oh, uh, uh, have you ever That's heated cool. day old fish? Oh, it's the worst. The that whole seems place like smells. a lot of. It seems like a lot of acid inside of them. That might not be healthy. But anyway, did you learn anything of substance other than their strange dietary needs? I mean, a lot of them were drunk. Some of them were talking about their their people from home, their families, you know, people they missed, uh, how long they've been out here. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff. I mean, I got tons of stuff that I learned. What do you need? Well, is any of it going to help us in our quest for the monkey's paw? I mean, first of all, they don't even know that they're for a monkey's paw. Like, I mean, at least they weren't really talking about it. Well, yes, of course they don't know. I'm sure the captain is the only one who knows. We're not supposed to know either. I'm asking, did you, as someone, as an entity who knows about the monkey's paw, gather any information that you deem worthy of telling me in relation to the monkey's paw? No. Oh, well, then I'm sorry I left you up all night. But perhaps... You got some fresh air. Can you even feel the air? I'm still very confused about your sensations. Like, can you feel this? And Moss runs her hand over Cloaky. 
do you know that 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 meme that's going around uh of, of spongebob where uh where he says all right i'm ready and then like someone punches spongebob and you hear like a squeaky noise and he goes did you hear me i'm ready mm -hmm. and then they punch him again and he goes um uh, i'm ready uh that's basically the situation right now like he's like uh <laughs> It, yeah, I can feel it. And then you like touch him, and you're like, "Are you gonna touch me?" Or, or <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. All right. Uh, well, Cloaky, thanks for your mm, help. Uh, well, you haven't told me. What did your moons of the table say? Moons of the table. You know, you were talking about like nighttime and like uh, a, a circle or something. Oh, the Knights of the Round Table. Yeah, yes. that thing. Um, I mean, I really need to get you a book. But, <laughs> Wait, but what you... I'm asking, what I'm asking is, are we getting the monkey's paw? Uh, that is certainly dubious. Currently, I'm just going to bring you down and we're going to reconvene you because something just happened and I'm not a entirely sure about what just happened robin was discovered so Ooh. i take Cloaky down i take Cloaky down to the little commune that we have created below deck Drama. is robin <laughs> there yet yeah i mean robin, I i'm pretty sure robin like left first <laughs> yeah. i feel like we're all down there yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like, i yes. was i was basically listening for like commotion and prepared to shape shift and climb up through the hole if a fight started which clearly did not happen so they probably just catch up with me very quickly okay um so if we are going to talk um and uh and i want to uh, how many frogs are in here there's like three uh and roll of perception cool i'm gonna roll that too um, 23. 23. Hey, look at yes. us. Who would have thought? They are, they are passed the fuck out. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we should, for the remainder of uh, our discussion, we should be talking in Goblin. Uh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, yeah. So okay. as of right now, we are talking in Goblin. Okay. I, I understand that portion. And um, furthermore, why weren't we doing this the whole time? Every time we talked about wanting to kill the captain, like, why? why? That's a good point. We should utilize that more often. All of us to know that. To be fair, we don't know that the Camblin, the Camblin, the <laughs> captain doesn't know Goblin. We don't, I don't think we know that. That's, okay, that's true. But probably most of these frog people don't. Um, I that's feel right. weird and bad right now. Um, yeah, you're, you know okay. Um, which I don't know how long he's known. But I, for some time, it seems, because I didn't do anything this morning to give it away. It was just I went up to him, and instantly he knew. Also, he didn't sleep all night, so he's really grumpy. Maybe the, maybe it was the eyeglass. Wait, he didn't sleep all night? He, he, no, he was at the wheel all night. In fact, he might be sleeping now. Maybe he was sleeping at the... Oh, sleeping now. Maybe we just... Maybe well, we just he, he went down. back up to his spot. Yeah, well, I, was I was gonna say, I was gonna say yeah. yeah. Um, no, he locked okay. the door and went back up to his spot. Gotcha. Um... It, if if he hasn't had any rest since I don't know whenever the last time he rested was, uh, this is as good as it's gonna get, as far as like the captain's condition. No, we have to like we have to do it away from the ship. Otherwise, all of the other frogs are going to beat us up. Like they are. Did, did so we? Did we learn anything about the frogs? Oh yeah, they, well, hold on. I do want to address that I said maybe it was the eyeglass and nobody was like, whoa! I you said, know. I, I, oh. I thought I said, whoa. Like maybe, like maybe the eyeglass is not just to see where the monkey's paw is. Oh, hold on, shoot. Um, I just said monkey's paw. Oh, I just did it again. There isn't a word for it in, in Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I mean, <laughs> monkey, monkeys are definitely a thing that can be said in Goblin, and so are Yeah, paws. but like monkey's mm -hmm. paw together is as, as, a, as a proper <laughs> noun. As a proper noun, it is. Yeah. Uh, it is it, it's, it's like... <laughs> monkey's paw. <laughs> <laughs> Like just grammar? Like Paul the monkey. Paul the monkey. Oh, yes. Paul the monkey. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I'll say that. Yes. Um. Uh. No. Um. So treasure. like it shows it shows the treasure yeah the part of the monkey um but perhaps maybe it also lets you see through like disguises oh or illusions or something it's, well here's the thing that it's not an illusion that i'm doing it's just i mean this is it just literally my face well that is yeah. what I, that's why i said disguises yeah like i some... suppose but i mean it's i don't know 
unless he's seeing like through the intention, but I, I'm not like it's not like a disguise spell that I've got on me or anything. It's just like makeup, basically. Just it's like within me. Well, yeah, um, I don't. Just not seeing that at all. I don't know when when he would have figured it out. And honestly, when I went up there, I thought I was going to be more enraged. But like at this point, I'm like, I thought I was just going to be like, ah, I'm going to I'm going to kill the captain. But That's how um, I felt a little. Just, yeah, but yeah. then like I saw like you and everything, and I was like, well, no, I need to be in a position where I know I will like because yeah. I don't want to start a fight and then all the other frogs like jump me and then the captain gets to kill me because that does not sound fun. No, we uh, have to be sure that we're gonna win, or else, like, what's the point? You know, I don't want to die. Because the last, I would like to, oh. I would like to point out that all of you are having this conversation with Robin still cuffed in rope. Oh, oh or, yeah, I I undo the rope. <laughs> How are you going to do that? Uh, by untying the rope. Okay, it's a knot, what's, right? It's not just a normal knot. It is a very specific knot. Can I, and, Jake, if with a crafting check, I can, like, kind of reverse engineer the knot to see how to untie it? Yeah, you gotta give me a roll. You, either athletics, thievery, uh, crafting. You gotta give me a roll. It's not just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not just like a bowl in where you just, like, pull a single string and it, un right. it becomes undone. Like, it, there is a series of intricate uh, yeah. turns and stuff like that. That is a 10 for crafting. Yeah. Okay, All seeing... Right. Seeing Robin fail, I'm going to try and rip it off of Robin's arms. Hold, the, hold them out, and I will cut it with my sword. Oh yeah, yeah. maybe that. Oh, yeah, we, we actually uh, we sharp. I forgot about I sharp. Forgot. Sharp's important. Red, yeah, Shit. it's yeah. Nothing and then new. and I cut them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. That's not what your sword does. Oh, that's the oh oh. Is it glowing? <laughs> I think the old sword did that too, though. Did he also glow? Yeah. No, I mean cut rope. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, remember that one time? Remember that one time? I do remember. I remember several times where I cut yeah. rope. Yeah. Uh, um. But yeah, I. Uh, God, I just I've got I'm urging to fast track the kill the captain plan right now. I know it's not wise. Um. But I do have to tell you that's what I'm feeling. I I just. I just hate him, you know, so much. And it's like, mm -hmm. it, it sucks that, that it is in my best interest to continue being, like, egregiously nice to him, even after what just happened. Like, I I felt like this... I, I felt like I had to to make him, like, feel good after it a little bit, um, just so I could, like, be okay. And that sucks, and that makes me want to hurt him more. Can we, like, do it, like, tonight? Is there any way we can, like, make that happen? Well, the, I, wanna, yeah. I, I questioned the captain like right at the end, and it seems like we are two day travel away from the pod of the monkey still. So um, here, I, I get it. I completely understand. And if you tell me like without uh, without any hesitation, like yes, let us kill the captain tonight, I will do that. Like I'll do it. I've been wanting to nice. do it since we got here. That's so so sweet. But I like. I don't want to end up having to kill more of these frogs. Yeah. Um, and all of that. I mean, like the the only one that I have talked to has expressed wishing that he could go back home to his wife and his children. So uh, And Moss Cloaky specifically told you that the majority of the frogs talked about missing home, uh, missing the people. Yeah, <laughs> I will interject with that. I was just about to. Okay. Sorry. Oh, that's right. Yeah. What the what did Cloaky figure out? Well, not a whole lot, other than that these are very sad, lonely frogs, and they only eat pickles, apparently. Wow. Well, then what's with all of the bread and the... Oh, well, I have bread, too. Oh, uh, okay. I, I just thought that the pickle part made a better story. Mm. Yeah, that can be one... Like, when you write it down later, I think yes, yes. pickles are good. I I, frogs you know. only ate pickles. Yeah. See, it goes well. Yes, it's a, it's a good ballad. Oh, your singing voice sounds actually pretty phenomenal in Goblin, I just want to say. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. I would say that I've had to hone it for all of the times that I performed for my goblins. Oh, how I miss the time before. Yeah, I miss all of them, but especially Herring, the I only one Herring. who was not a traitor. Yes, yeah. Herring is the best. We all know that. Could we, knowing that all of the sailors kind of just want to go home, could we just, like, reinforce that today? I mean, if we just, like, talk to them and, like, make them really want to go home and... It's like, oh, what if you know the captain wasn't here? Okay, I'm really in that monkey pot. Shoot, I said it. Um, the pod, the monkey's like, um, brain. 
Uh, so like whenever we bring up a situation now, I think of like the worst case like scenario. So say, say we go up more like, ah, oh, don't you all just want to go home? And like, and then they're all like, yeah, I miss my family or whatever. And then they voice that concern to the captain, the captain, all the captain has to say is like, okay, fine. We are only two days away from getting the treasure that I have been searching for. We will get it. And then I will make sure that all of you will be able to go back with riches to give to your families to make sure they can all live and you can be happy. Mm. Like, I feel like it would be too easy yeah, in any situation. Like, it, yeah, because the captain has been around longer than we have and has the, they have more camaraderie. Yeah, so trust. Like, that's the thing. I think they do. Like, do you think they have camaraderie with the captain, though? I think that they like having jobs. And I think that they like having the ability to like get money and send it back home to their families or whatever. Can and we... also, I think the pirate's life is kind of fun. Yeah. What if we convince them that we could set them up to be getting the same, you know, rewards and just a better position? Like, I mean, if, what what if they together ran the ship? Like, or, you you know, because I mean, I don't think we want to sail with all these frog people forever. But if we can. One of them, or all of them together, have to be able to do at least as good a job as the captain is, right? I have no idea how smart these individuals are. Yeah, I mean, maybe Bodok. Bodok? Yeah. The doctor? Yeah. Bodok seems pretty I like capable. Bodok a lot. I don't know if Bodok can, like, shout orders or something. We'll probably have to change, like, the way the ship is run. Maybe more, like, nice and asking people nicely yeah. to do things. Instead of, like, barking, like, hey, tie down the mast. Yeah. It will be more like, like wait, hey, hold on. Can you give me a hand? Wait, then it's like Bodok. It's like, it'll be like, mm, mm, um, hey, could, uh, could but, you please uh, tie down the mast? Oh, but uh, Bodok like wants... That. To go home, right? It's so, something like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm here again to ask you. I'm asking you to tie oh, down he the He does like kind of talk through his jowls a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, yes, I don't think they they we could do that to Bodok without making sure that that's something Bodok wants. And I don't think we can make sure that that's something Bodok wants. That sounds hard. We'd have to yeah. broach that subject, and that's dangerous. We get to the island. We go out with Bogard. We kill Bogard. We get the monkey's paw. And we, we figure out a way to like stash it or whatever. So nobody will ever be able to find it. We do not use the wishes for ourselves, Cloaky. And I point at Cloak. At the Cloak. Yeah, I'm point at Cloak too, why not? Definitely not me. I'm already famous enough. Yo, what is this bullshit? What? I, I, I can't even wish for things. I'm not like... I'm not Cloakie's even on this plane of existence. Cloakie's an article of clothing. He also can't feel it when I touch him, which is very strange. I, I'm uh, concerned that you were experimenting with that, but all right. Let, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm concerned, but not surprised. Have to admit. Well, it's for science. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes, I'm, no. a, I'm a seeker of knowledge. Uh huh. Right, right. Real philosopher, you. And right now, I don't even care what the, I, the demon in your cloak is saying. Wait, can the demon in the cloak understand Goblin? He knows the languages in which Moss knows. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Okay. Well, okay, that's good to know, though. So the the cloak the cloak can can understand when we are speaking Goblin. That's that's good to know. That's good to know. That's good to know. Let's put that down in our memory book. Okay. Done. Done. Is that like a journal. And now moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> I like being able to comment and then like <laughs> being able to respond. <laughs> um. I think I think the only plan, the only way that we can move forward is to kill the captain. And we need to do it at the most advantageous moment, which means on the island, like he'll probably bring a couple other frog guard thingies with them. But if we can get just like a couple of them on our side, like while we are out looking for the paw of the monkey, um, then we would have an easier time killing him out there. We get the paw of the monkey. Oh, oh no, but then what if they are like what if then they want the pod, the monkey? All right. So I, I, I would like, I would like to, I would like fate to interject into this. That's fine with me. I was like, I went all that way, and then I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> so he, here's the thing: I can roll this, 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 this D two, and you can pick which side you want to be positive, or one of you can oh, roll. Positive. You, <laughs> would you like me to flip it, or would, would one of you like to roll it? Uh, 
Pot one positive or negative? What are what's what happening right now? No, no. So, so uh, th there, there is an opportunity right now that I would like to give to fate to happen. Okay. Oh, okay. And I'm uh, giving you the option that I can either flip this, and one, and 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 the fates happen in a positive way or in a negative way, right? Or one of you roll right. it. So I'm, I'm giving you. Do you want? Do you want to be blamed, yeah. or do you want to blame the DM? Is really what you I'm asking. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Right. So real good. The side with this little squid on it is the positive side, and this one really? is is a one. Don't call yeah, it guys, a little, you guys get the joke I was making. You just ignored me because, like, paw, like monkey's paw, paws. No. Like, okay. <laughs> well, the only sure. reason I didn't like super get it, we did the same joke last time. But that's, oh, yeah. I mean, we it's okay. We can keep doing the paw positive joke. I I think I think it's good. It's a good time for. Positivity. I think it's good. I think positivity is good. The GM we could, we could the also point. do podacity. The podacity of it all. So well, I have not. I, I, I have rolled it. I have Potter not looked shot. at it yet. I have not looked at it yet. Uh. <laughs> it slid all the way down. That's the Ooh. that's the Cthulhu head, right? Yay! Yep. So it's positive. Yeah, Yay. we did it. As you are having this conversation, you start to hear someone walking down the steps. And what would you? you I assume you all stop talking, even though you're all talking in God. If somebody continues to stop to talk, I will try to get them to stop. Yeah, I'll stop. I think I think Remy. <laughs> Remy just like... wrote, shut themselves up when they were like, oh, but what if they want it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a, huh? uh, and as the steps, uh, the feet, you start to see two frog legs start to hop down the stairs and you see Bodok. Bodok. Um, hi. Oh, hey, how's it going? I gotta, I gotta check on these ones. They are, they are, they drank a little too much. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can, we can see that, yeah. Oh, uh, um, but but by the way, this is me. I'm Robin. Uh, just still, I was pulling one over on all of you because the captain's a sexist. Um, this is know. my wife. <laughs> oh, yeah. congratulations! Remember, we were lady at home too. Yeah, we were talking about we were talking yeah. about how we had wives, and oh, yeah. it turns out that this is mine. Uh huh. Oh. Big surprise for everyone here. <laughs> congratulations to two. Um, of you. How long have you been together? Uh, oh, the God. seven uh, years. years? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Those are years. That's important. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. So, uh, I heard. I heard this is your last mission. You got one more left. Yeah. yeah apparently. Um. Does the captain tend to actually like drop people off in a decent place after the last mission, or is it just like a euphemism for for killing us? Well, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Because I don't ever go and leave the ship. But right. what it usually does is he usually sends three of his men out to the island. And then they come back. They got spot, spot ahead. And uh, then the, the, the captain goes out with them. And the captain comes back. But they don't ever come back. He always says that he, he you know, the other, the other crew got them a boat and got them set off and to, to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I, I don't know here, no, there. Um, uh, this one right here is actually one of the ones that usually goes out beforehand. I gotta check oh, on him, really. Okay, uh, well, hey, don't, don't, uh, you know, don't break his leg or anything. Bodok literally just slaps him. <laughs> 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 you wake, <laughs> you got a headache. Oh, it's gonna suck for you, you know, you Bodok. I uh, I feel like you have a sort of disadvantage now. When's your last mission? Well, my last mission was a long time ago. I ended up sticking out a little bit longer because, really, it was only good money I could send back. Hmm. You know, it's it's tough back home, and uh, there wasn't that that much work, so I stayed out here, especially for a doctor like myself. Like they look at me and they're like, "Oh, you big frog person," and they try to kill me. Do you know how many times I've been chased out of places trying to help people because I was a frog? This is ridiculous. <sighs> Horrible Bodak. And yeah. and how you here you are, sadly, working for a captain who would chase people off the ship just for being a woman. It's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of an asshole. I think I said that before. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But have you here here's the thing. Sometimes you gotta take the good with the bad. And I don't I will be honest, I don't like it. That's not who I am. But that being said, it is money. And sometimes we do things we don't want to do because we need to feed our people. Yeah. I mean, like I don't know. Like, what if you're the captain of the ship? 
if I was the captain of the ship, I wouldn't be on the ship. If I had a choice, I'd just leave. I'll be honest with you. It's been many, many years. My knees are hurting. My back's hurting. And really, I just want to see my wife and my kids. But surely you're the only one who feels this way. What? To, to go home? Nah, we all want to go home. But we all Ever know that... one of you? Yeah. I mean, for the most part, some of them like the job. Some of them like the cutthroat aspect of it. Less so the the sail in the seas. And really, we all belong in a swamp. You don't know the feeling that your, your, your toes get when it's in the mud and the muck. Ooh, feels so much better than this salty water. My lips are dry. It's, oh. it's a different life out here. But, you know, like I said. You need the money. Yeah. Like all of you need the money. And some what of you want to just cut throats. Yeah, some of them just assholes. What, like what, did you, what did you do to make money before this? Well, I tried to be a doctor. Oh. And I was helping out my own community, and we were working around. We were tr primarily trade, but then a big old wave hit through our swamp and took out most of our food supply, so we had to look for, uh, for work outside. So we started looking around, and, well, this came up, and it ended up working out for me, sort of. I mean, some days I like to think that it's worth it, but it's the best I could find. Here's the thing that gets me, Bodoc. Like, you're 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 good at medicine. I mean, Moss was suffering from some stuff, and and we don't. I mean, I still don't understand even close to what was going on with Moss. And you helped bring her back, and that was, you know, really valiant of you. And mm -hmm. and you're clearly, you know, a skilled practitioner of medicine. But at the same time, like, you're working for a captain that is keeping me here against my will. And has kept plenty of people here against their will. And you don't seem like the kind of individual who would live that kind of life if they had a choice. And and as far as I'm concerned, I think you do have a choice. Here's the thing. What's my choice? Go back home, let my family starve, let them die. But like, why can't you be a doctor... In an, I mean, I understand that your settlement was destroyed and or your 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 settlement's resources were destroyed, and that's that's a shame. And I'm not trying to belittle that event in your life. What I am trying to say is, was that the only settlement for your whole species? No, we're all over the place. But here's the thing: not everyone has the opportunity. And that's the key. Not everyone has the opportunity to be able to leave and pick up and move to another place and hopefully integrate into that new society, right? Some of us are stuck in a bad situation. We all stuck in a bad situation. Like I said, most of us wouldn't be here if we had the choice. This is the situation we were put in, and this is the best that we could come up with. I wish it was different, but right now it's not. Well, if you have to be on the seas to make money, which I, I think we we can bring some some other ideas there. Do you need the captain for that? I mean, you, you've been here for a while. A lot of you must have been here for a while. You've got to know how to run this thing by now. Oh, the boat itself. Oh, we can run the boat easy without the captain. The issue so what is, does he do for you. The captain's the one that knows where to go and find stuff. You know, he's the one that leaves the ship, goes out and gets rumors and information and puts it all together. And then comes back and gives us a new place to go, and we go that way. Well, someone so else that, do that. I would. I would someone that was a little less. Well, you know, I'd take it. Hell, I mean, there's an organ organization that we work for that essentially does that for us. We go out and do missions, and they give us money. Oh, they hire it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I also don't know if they have like a a naval fleet yet. But I'm sure they could. I feel like they have to be able to use a boat full of strong frog people who know how to sail and hunt for treasure. Furthermore, and who want to see their families? Who want to see their families? Yeah, well, that's the thing. You know, we're not on call like all the time. I mean, we're, well, we're, we're on call all the time. All the time yeah. We're not working all the time. You know, now and then we get little breaks. You know, we've. Yeah, we um, were getting breaks until we ran into like a legion of zombies. Yeah, yeah. It's been pretty gun and go since then. But, um. Well. Well, if if they're hiring, if you if you can get a hold of them, get, let me know them. I'm sure yeah. there will be a good chunk of us willing to do that. 
Well, we we could have got a hold of them already, but we're missing our kissy box. Yeah, it is like box with like a mouth on it. That's how we. It's talk a communication about. device. Yeah. Ignore the name. It's don't think about it too hard. Can you describe what it looks like a little bit more? Yes, I describe it exactly. I'm pretty sure the captain's got that. You've got to be. F I are really? you joking me? Wait, um, no. Wh um, where does he? Where? Yeah. Where? So w whenever he gets the new people on a ship, he gets a first pick of all of their stuff and goes through that. And I'm pretty sure he's got it in his pocket. <laughs> Pocket. Like he's always got it in his pocket. Yeah, I don't know. Do, I didn't. You know, I don't he's follow him around. I just saw him take right. it, look it up, and it was shiny, and it, it caught my eye. And then he put it in his pocket. I haven't seen it since. <clears throat> okay, well, we. God, do you know if he's used it? You haven't seen him use it. No, like I said, picked yeah, it up. Yeah. Oh, it was shiny. Put him in pocket. Right. So um, he probably since. doesn't know how to be honest. Uh, okay. And as he, as as he's talking, the uh, the frog below him that that he had mentioned was one of the ones that goes out beforehand to uh, on on people's last mission. Starts to kind of like moan. And, oh god, oh, my head! Oh. Do you need help at all? He needs some water. That's what he does. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get some clean water. Uh, just make sure like he don't choke on his vomit. I'll I'll be right back. All right, gotta make sure he's okay. Yeah, yeah no, I can do that. He starts to uh, hop back up the stairs. I want to look after this frog person while Bodak is gone. Um, okay. And maybe just like a medicine check and see if there's anything other than water that he might need. Okay. Uh, 19. Uh, 19. It, he needs water, relaxation, maybe a little bit of food, but like cool. he's got a hangover. He got um, a real bad hangover. I'm gonna like prop his like prop his head up and fluff his pillow and then put that back. It's a little bit more elevated, a little more relaxed. Um, make sure like he's fully tucked in if that's more comfortable for him. Um, and as, like, as you as you do that, he'll oh thanks sis. Uh, no no problem. My name's Robin by the way. Um, Robin, wait. that's not your name. Oh, you you're like you're your sister? Like you're also a frog person sister? Is that that's who I am right now? Is that what's what's, what's, what's up? Why are you talking so funny? Yeah, okay. Um, well, listen, um, uh, I'm just gonna, um, you want some bread, brother? Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Oh, okay. We, we, <laughs> we miss you at home. Yeah, yeah, we do. We, uh, we miss you. Are you coming back soon? I don't know. I was told three more crews, three more crews. Three more crews. One more crew, one more crew in like a day. Or God. Or, or then it'll be two more crews. Can't you just come home after the next one? Can't you just come home now? That mm. captain just wants to keep you forever, you know. It's not fair. Hey, hey, hey. I willfully sign the contract. And you all are benefiting from it. I'll be home soon. And it's not like I'm like one of the crews that I have to go out and kill. So it's fine. It's I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Um, that is hold better. on. S one of the... Uh, uh, yeah, because well, hold, hold on, one of the crows that you have to go out and kill is that what you just said? Well, I, okay, hold on. I don't, I don't kill anyone. I just prep it. All right, I prep it. I just get all yeah. the stuff ready. And I come back. Yeah, and of course you don't go out and kill them because that's left to um. Uh, what what are your friends' names who do the killing? I, I never can keep them straight. You have so many friends. Uh, it's, it's just the captain. He does it himself. It, he just likes right, to, right. he likes to do it this really weird way with a rope and, and like tying them up and like it's weird. And then he like I don't know. Like, I, I, I I tell you about the time I stayed out there and and, it's, it's, and watched him. It was really weird. And, that's right. You did watch him uh, and. Yeah, exactly. Didn't, didn't you figure out like how he did it? Well, I mean, I know how he did it. I'm the one that sets it up for him. Yeah. What is it ex exactly? Well, like I take all of the rope. Well, first of all, what what we do is we dig a little pit, and then he always makes them walk in front of him, and then they fall in the pit, and then he says that he will let them out, but they have to tie tie. He has to tie tie them. And then he ties them up, and then he winches them out one by one. But what he does is he winches them out, and then he beats them to death. Oh, right. Beats them to death. And then 
he winches the next one up and then beats that one to death. And then he just does it to all of them. It's weird. Like, it's really weird. Can, brother, can you do me a favor this, this, just this time? Since I know I'm not going to see you for a minute. Um, could you just, like, do something so I can feel a little bit closer to you? Um, when you, because you, you set up the hole, right? That that the, the people well, fall there's, into. There's like three of us. There's three of us. We yeah. all do a different thing. But but you work on it. Can you can you just like, you know, just draw a little like image of my face in the ground near where the hole is, so that like I know you're thinking about me when you're there. Uh, you know I can't draw. How how's this? How's this thing going? He like reaches into his clo- clothes, then he pulls out like a small flower, right? <laughs> and he and he goes, "How about I just put this out for you? It's nice and colorful and pretty, just just like you, brother. That's perfect. To be completely honest, I was gonna suggest a flower before the drawing, but I wasn't sure if you'd have one on you. Um, I did course, forget you this did. Is the, this is the one that you gave me." Yeah, of course. No, 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 no joke. I was actually going to say kind of that I gave you one, but I didn't want to like, you know, what if you? And didn't? then you hear the hopping of a Bodoc coming down the stairs. And um, I will give him the bread and step away. I think this is a good time to take a break. Yeah, cool. yeah, cool. yeah. All right, yeah. all right. We're gonna we're gonna take a quick ten minute break. We'll be back. Go to the bathroom. Do what you need to do. Bye. Cool. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to the second half of uh, this episode of Court of Corvid's Monkey's Paw. Um, so last we left off, they were talking to a drunk person um, as Bodoc was stepping down. Uh, I believe Robin handed him some bread. And bread. Bodoc, yeah, and Bodoc uh, walked down. Go, oh, yep. oh, you got him some bread. That, that's good. That's smart. That's smart thing right there. Need to soak up that alcohol in there. You guys are stupid. You shouldn't. Have, you know better than drink this much. All right, come well, here. Come here. All right, cool. Well, we're going to walk away now. Bye. How good one now? You too, Bodak. Uh, yeah. So you walk away. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's. Uh, I think that's fair. I feel like that's all right. Yeah. 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 What, what do you want to do? Um, at this rate, I just kind of want to have. This we, we could do this. This could be even like montage style or something. Sure. But over the next like couple of days, I just kind of want to have similar conversations um, that we had like with Bodoc, but mm-hmm. with like the rest of the crew. Not like not not like a prying like don't you hate the captain, mm-hmm. but more of a like uh like oh the shore is hard out here on the road without going back to see our families. And I want to suss out like people who are who are feeling anxious about that. And then also the just like cutthroat people who just don't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll make our Figuring out how many cutthroat people there are is probably, probably a good idea. Can, can Moscow sing a song? Can she do the song she was going to do last night? Oh yeah. Sing a union song and see who sings along. That'll tell you who's our ally. <laughs> well, I never did it last night. Well, yeah, you can roll. Uh, yeah. This is what I would say. I will allow you to uh, roll a performance. And depending on that role, we'll uh, we'll give the rest of the crew a bonus uh, to their uh, um, mm, diplomacy, diplomacy checks. Yeah, yeah. their diplomacy checks, uh, which will be there. You're gonna. I'm gonna want you to make four diplomacy checks, right? Each so, or just total? A total. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, and it could be the same person rolling four, or it could be mm-hmm. each of you rolling your own. So basically, I'm, I'm giving them like guidance or yeah, yeah. basically. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, this is great. So it would be 22 performance. Okay. Right. So everyone can take a plus two bonus to their diplomacy. Sick. Um, cool. All right. My diplomacy is pretty dynamite. Yeah, mine is not. Uh, I have a plus one before the bonus, so I. I have a plus seven before the bonus. So. Yeah. I'm not diplomatic. Let's just leave it at that. Then so, maybe we need to do the talking, and I'll give I can give you guidance for the first one. Um, so you have a plus one on that first. So it's a circumstance. So the bonuses are going to be the same though. So I, the the guidance basically what I'm doing is Moss's bonus is going to be across all four of the roles. So the it's it's instead of having to cast guidance on one of them. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we've already. It, got- it's basically it's basically like cool. you can get a bonus on all four. You can get a bonus on one of them. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, okay. Roll it. Okay, am I going to roll all four diplomacies? Yeah. Molly, yeah. I don't know what Molly's... Uh... Yeah, Moss, what's your diplomacy? Uh, let me look it up. I have things like my performance bonus memorized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing you use all the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, diplomacy is a uh, nine. Diplomacy is a nine? It was it was a uh, seven two levels ago, so I that makes sense. sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, never mind. You should roll all four of them. All right. All right. All right. I'm doing it. And so she also gets that plus two from her mm -hmm. song. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So four times. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. First time is sixteen plus nine. Plus eleven. So, plus eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Because yep. yeah, you give you a plus two from the song. Okay. Uh, so was it 27? Uh, the second is 11 plus 4. Okay, so 15. 15. Yep. Uh, 16 plus 11. So, we got so it's 27 again? Yep. One more. Hold on. Dropped it on the floor. No floor dice. Don't count. I know, 13 plus 11. So 24, 24. on the last. 27, 20. Oh, sorry, 27, 15, 27, 24. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. What was the lost numbers? I'm kidding. It's not the lost numbers. <laughs> so throughout the, the next two days, right? Because this is going to take some time to like legitimately yeah. try and get people together. You have a feeling that the majority of the people on the ship are there because this is the only option that they have, right? The majority of them are basically the grunt workers. They're the ones... Uh, uh, working the sails, tightening the lines. They're the ones that do the majority of the work. There are a few that it seems that don't mind the work so much. And those ones are a little bit higher up in some sort of hierarchy that is on the ship. These are the ones that usually get chosen to go out with the captain on his missions. Mm. These are the ones that usually... One stays back on the boat, two of them go out, or th all three of them leave before the captain leaves and comes back. But you have a suspicion that these three people are the ones that kind of, for the most part, right, have leaned a little bit harder into this than the others. The pirate's life is the life for them. Yeah, for the most part. One, I mean, one, one would say. Yeah. Cool. I love the idea of this montage, though, of like Moss just like singing a song, and then like we get this like montage of then over the next two days, her just like after singing the song, like leaning into people, being like, "Hey, how's it going? Like <laughs> things are things are rough, huh?" And then Clo Cloaky going over, ah, shut up, shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you that's the piece of information you get. Um, you are able to get all of that information. Uh, and the last bit of thing is the captain basically says to everyone, all right, we're going to be arriving to our destination tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Uh, we will be here and we will uh, be taking out the crew, which is the four of you, uh, out to the last location. This is your last mission. And uh, then you will be allowed to go home free. Okay, okay um, great. That is the, that is basically the montage. That is the information yep. you have. Cool. So it is the night before the last mission. The four of you are down in the the sleeping quarters. Every, a majority of the people are down there sleeping. A couple of them are awake, but just relaxing. Uh, and there's a few people on the boats all, all throughout it. Has Can the I captain be... been staying up super late? Um, as roll me perception. Yeah, I. I want to. I want to also roll perception for maybe for that, but I also want to see if I can get an idea of if he is still carrying the um, the conversation box in his pocket, and if okay. I see him use it. Um, uh, I got a natural twenty, which is a twenty-five total. <laughs> nice, uh, Krug. Uh, he hasn't left the entire time. God. Um, and I got a seventeen. Okay. Um. You do not, I mean, he's got a bunch of pockets and mm -hmm. 
but it seems that every time you're up there, the only thing that he wants to touch is the, the steering wheel or his mm -hmm. spyglass. Cool. Um, damn, I hasn't slept at all. And frog people are meant to do that, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Damn. Um, so it's night, and we're down in the yeah. in the bunker area. I'm I'm Remy's laying in their bed uh, across from from Krug and uh, and um, Robin like now on the other side. Psst. Hey, hey Krug. Yeah. Hey, Remy. Hey, I said hey I said hey Krug, not hey hey Goog. I said I said Remy. I said what's up, Hold Remy? On. Sorry, no. I... Oh. <laughs> Oh, nah, it was did you did you summon a, a knowledge spirit? All right, <laughs> okay. that I may joke have... wasn't never gonna land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to speak in Goblin now. <clears throat> so to tomorrow is the day, huh? Yeah. Okay, just just to like reconfirm on the plan, we go out, we get the paw of the monkey with these with the guards or whatever, and with with um. Bogard? Bogard, yes, yes, Bogard. Um, and then we, when we get back to the ship, Bogard is going to take us, like, we're going to go to the nearest island uh, to be dropped off for our freedom, right? And, uh, and Bogard will go out, like, send out those people. They're going to put the flower there. Bogard's going to go out to kill us. And we, and then we get to drop on him because there's no way he won't have the, the, Paw of the monkey on him, right? Well, I would assume. Um, is there anything that you don't agree with with that plan, or is that pretty um, good? Like, I just forward? want to sort of like establish. I, I think what we should do because we'll be able to see that whole coming. At least I know I'll be looking out for it with the flower. Um, it was a red flower, Jake. Yeah, go on. Um, with the flower there, so it'll be easy. I think once we see it. The plan, right, is to, because um, we're going to be walking in front of him as he'll ask us to, the plan is to quickly get behind him and shove him into the pit. Is that something we want to do? Um, you know, use that to our advantage? Because I think that might be helpful. I mean, yeah, if we we can. an easy way to do that, yeah. But I'm, I'm planning I on mean, just like... I'm thinking Krug is an easy way to do that. But... Uh, yeah. yeah. If we get to that point, then, then yeah. I just want to throw this out there. If we see a better opportunity to kill the captain at any point, we should just take that instead. You know, well, where would there be a better opportunity? I don't know. I don't know what we'll we're going to see we'll out there. We'll be alone. We'll have the monkey's paw. And I think, okay, yeah, if something comes up, like like if a rock is falling here's, and it's going to crash, I'm, in, I'll just let well, it happen, I guess. Here's I what know. I'm worried about. Uh, is once, once the captain has the monkey's paw, the captain can do a lot. So... Mm. That what they can do three things. Yeah, but he can do a lot of three things. I, honestly, here's the thing. I was thinking that the the, the killing us would, would would happen like around before I guess he actually got the monkey's paw and would be able to do all that. But yeah, I don't want him to get his hands on it at any point because he could start wishing right away. He could just wish we were dead right there. Yeah, I thought the hole was before the the paw. That's what I understood from our conversation. But maybe I'm. Uh, thinking wishfully there no i think it's after because we have to help get the paw the paw of the monkey out of character jake can you uh clarify that for us i, I think william is right but i don't yeah the holes before the monkey's paw what oh it is okay cool yeah i thought so that's why i was excited about it <laughs> oh okay cool yeah well, never he, mind, he, he, he kills you before the treasure is actually there yeah, oh, so, that, okay. so that he doesn't have to worry about us killing him to get the treasure. Oh, okay. Presumably. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. I, I screwed that up. Okay. No, we're good then. Everything's fine. Yeah, I think we're okay. Okay, should be great. All right, break. <laughs> 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 wow, so lucky. I wish I could do that. Um, oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, Jake, spend some time refocusing and like trying to. Uh, I, I I think I want to sort of like send my energy through my cloak in any way I feel like I can and try to reach out to Ghost Ray again. Sure, roll me uh, a nature check. Cool. 21. You feel a static between your fingers as you, you know, try to reach out and you go to look at them and you see like 
it's not sweat, but it's the, like the palm of your hand, like the, the, the center of your hand. It's, it's, it's like there's like a cup of water almost. And it's just kind of swishing back and forth. Um, and you get lost in it. And you're just, you're just kind of staring at it for a while. And you lean forward, looking closer and closer and closer at it. As it feels like you then just fall completely into the water itself. You you are now looking around deep in the darkest depths of the ocean. Completely surrounded, swimming. Go, goes right? Yes, my child. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Um... Hi, um, it's good to, good to um, be here again. Um, can, is, this is I just want to say that I assume that you're somewhat in control of like the, like the, the water portals that are happening for me. It's really cool. Um, it's really it's kind of fun going through those. It's a nice touch. Um, um, There's no response. Are you by any chance keeping track of what me and my friends are up to right now? Like sort of moment to moment. I don't know how close you're monitoring me. No, that's not our reasonings. Oh, okay. We're not watching you like some adolescent child who gets a peek into the bathroom. Wait, what? you're not. I know you said not, but would you have been the child in that scenario, or, or, or I'm not, or I'm the child in the. I'm saying we are not. You're not. I'm, yeah. We're not watching you. We don't of course, watch. of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that's fine. I'm just curious. Um, yeah. Um. I think I am developing some tendencies that, honestly, maybe you'll find useful depending on what you need me for, but I'm a little worried about, am I meant to be killing people? You're the first god I've talked to, so you're the first sort of higher being I can ask. Is Am, am, I, am I good to, to kill people if they're, like, bad? The ocean has many lives that live within it. Many things thrive off of what is inside of us. And at the same time, many have died by adventuring in places that they shouldn't be. We have That's swallowed... Kind of... Oh, sorry, sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead, Gordon. It's, okay. Please. it's quite all right. We have swallowed many of people we have drowned many who have gotten too far in, who are not prepared. You are just a wave in the ocean. You may crash upon the shores and slowly break away at the rock. Or you might be a, a wave that a small child plays in at their feet. Oh. Your decisions are your own. We do not tell you what you can and cannot do. We have faith that your actions, while your own, are also slightly predetermined. Funny that that kind of brings me to what my, I had a second question. Like I've got free will, right? It sounds like I do, but some of this stuff's planned already. There are a great many of us that have interest in you, humans. Well, not yeah. human specifically. I believe you all call each other different things. Uh, some yeah. of you call each other goblins or elves or whatever, but you're all humans to us. You're humanoids. And Interesting. We all have an interest in what you all do because it affects how we rule you. Does that make sense? I think so. Yeah, I... I hadn't really thought about this as like a rulership uh, relationship, but I guess that makes sense. Um, I mean, yeah, if you've got the power you do, of course you're going to rule with it. Um, cool, cool. Um, yeah, honestly, then, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in. Uh, you know, I figured since I can talk to God, I should do it now and then. Uh, did uh, This robe, is this, this is from you, right? This cloak? Yes, yes, it is. Is it? It's um, one of many of our gifts for you. Oh, really? Um, uh, well, th thank you for one. I, I, I like it. It's, it's very nice. Um, 
does it have any like uh, any like, pro properties or anything? Any um, anything special sort of about it? Have you ever thought about how vast the ocean really is? <laughs> A lot lately, yeah. Have you ever thought about how deep the ocean goes? Uh, actually, not really. I assume very deep. There are many things that live within the ocean. And when it's their time to be shown, they will be shown. Okay. As the gifts in which we have given you will sh be shown when it is appropriate. Well, okay. Um, it's a bit of a trick question. It does have a, a magical property of being um, being incredibly sick. Um, is like good, good sick. Um, like it, it's a very nice cloak, as um, and I appreciate that about it. Um, you everything feel, else here comes with waves. You feel you feel the water around you kind of warm, and you feel mm. yourself kind of rolling, almost like a belly laugh, like you were sitting on someone's like stomach as they were like uh. laughing at that. They're like wow, you know, and, and you just like it, 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 you, it, it's a warmth. It's it, it's it's a good feeling as you say that. Like uh -huh, it's uh -huh. pretty sick. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> wow, um, this is weird. You're like, this is all you, isn't it? All around, all of this. That's really weird. That's really weird, but very cool, uh, goes Ray. Um, all right, um, I've got to go initiate a mutiny, so I, I think I should probably get some sleep. But uh, th thanks for, for letting me check in. I'll try not to bother you too often. Is there anything else you have? This is your final time to be able to ask me a question. Um. Um. Think am I? About your question. Yeah. I'm not going to die tomorrow, right? Could you tell me that? You know how we explained free will? Yeah. That goes for others as well. Okay. No, I'm good then. Just uh think I'm I can sit with the level of turmoil I'm at. Um this is helpful. Mm. Um I'll just try not to die tomorrow cuz uh I th I think my friends and you need me. So I'll do what I can. I will leave you with one small parting gift. And the air around you, like it, you're not in air, you're in water, mm -hmm. but like air starts to form around you and starts to bubble up and a face comes out and she reaches out and she boops you on the nose <laughs> And she smiles, and you're back on the ship. Um, Remy? I am asleep. Good. Just checking. Okay. I love you. I love you. And uh, Robin goes to sleep. Robin, mechanically, you are currently have a minor boon. Oh. Or a minor blessing, I guess. Minor blessing. Okay. Gozeray has granted you their guidance while at sea. You are under the constant effect of no direction. Ooh. Become trained in sailing lore or another lore if you are already trained in sailing lore. Cool. I'm not, so that's great. Um... Let me add that. Oh, no, Jeez. as in K-N-O-W direction, not N-O direction. <laughs> yes. Big brain over here. Awesome. Uh, cool. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, guys. Ray. Have you seen Dogma, Jake? Yeah, I love Dogma. Okay. Wait, wait, was that a, like a, a reference to Dogma? No, yeah, but just, you know what? You know it, what I'm it, talking about. It, it's, yeah. it's I've seen that movie so many times. Yeah. It's probably just in the back of my head. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it was just like, boop. I just, cool. I just imagine Gozray is just this like, Alanis because it is the, that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah, duh. No, but I mean, Gozray has these two polar opposite sides, right? 
one is thunder and lightning, right? This mm -hmm. aggression, this anger, while the other is this like the, the ocean waves and like, and no matter how hard you think about it, it's just chaotic and it's just all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just, it's how I imagine her. She's never really going to be clear. <laughs> she's never going to yeah. give you a straight answer. She's just I like, like that. Yeah. She's like, See, I, what I love about that is I want to keep asking for straight answers um, from time it. to time. And, and I, I, I like that as not getting them. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. So it is the next morning. Uh, Krug, uh, Remy, and uh, Robin all wake up early, bright and mm -hmm. shining in the morning as Moss lays there. That is a doornail. <laughs> oh, I, did y'all sleep okay? I yeah, I slept great. That's good. I always um, sleep great. It I switches usually... to Goblin the the <sighs> night before a killing, so it switches back. <laughs> yeah. No, I normally do too. I don't know something. I didn't get. I don't know. I feel groggy. I, I might actually just stay tucked in a little bit longer. Um, okay, what happened? What do you mean? I'm just tired. I just didn't sleep well. Oh, why not? I I talked to God in the middle of the night. Okay, well, I don't come know. On. I, mean, I don't know. It was that. I don't want to blame God for like well, everything. But... I mean, still the same thing. I mean, like I don't like maybe that is why you are tired. But like I remember when we all talked to gods individually and then like didn't tell it. each other. Yeah, and then... I know. I, look, it's it's hard. It's like I'm entering. Oh, minus Moss, who was talking to the talking devil. To the devil yeah. yeah. We should, maybe we should talk about that at some point. But. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we should talk about that at some point. Um, the oh, the devil. Or we should never God. talk about it ever again, please. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, it's just weird, isn't it? Having these like deities that are sort of like a reach away sometimes. Like that's. Are, are you kidding me? If I could figure out how to talk to the the like jungle jaguar like uh, a big big lady one more time, I'd I'd do it. Are oh you... yeah, no, absolutely. It's just it's a strange experience, right? Like I mean, you checked it off, right, on, on your list. Talk oh yeah, I, okay. I checked it off of my list. Yeah, uh, talk, talk to a god. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I could, I'd talk to all your gods too. Yeah, maybe, I, maybe not the devil. I would pay, pay to see you talk to Aurori. That would be absolutely hilarious. To to Aurori, Aurori, Aurori. Yeah, it's like I R O R I. Oh, okay, Iror, Irori. Okay, all right. Why would you pay for that? The best thing is that this place. conversation is happening like this. <laughs> <laughs> I Rory. <laughs> I R O R. -I. Yeah, no, I'm. Yeah, I would totally. I mean, like, if you could like hook me up, like link me to your god at some point. I don't know. That would be that would be very cool. I would love to talk to more gods. I got. I feel like I had a really great, like, conversation with the with the jungle, uh, the the big um. The big uh, jaguar god lady, and I mean, from there, it, I I feel like just talking to all of the gods. If if all yeah. of them get to know me, then maybe like they'll invite me over for dinner or something. What if we like? I mean, if we all get good, maybe we could get our gods together. Because like, if they're all you know, they're betting against each other and stuff. Maybe at least our gods could be friends. You know. I don't think that that is something with which we should involve ourselves because that sounds like a good way to have never existed. <laughs> Asmodeus! And Moss wakes herself up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Moss? Good morning. morning. Hi. Good morning. Um, were you talking to the devil at night? I'm just going to ask you. Well, I mean, I I don't know what happens in my dreams. Any of us? No. No. Hey, no Moss. Hey, 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 Moss. Moss. Yeah. Yes. Just saying, they were super talking shit about Asmodeus before this started. <laughs> right you before guys, you woke up. Were you guys talking shit about Asmodeus? Absolutely. No. I'm not talking shit. Just you know, we're concerned. He is. I was. The devil. He is the devil, it's, Moss. Yeah, well, I mean, not technically. I, I believe that he's one of, like, a few. 
Oh, he is a devil. He's a devil. Oh, oh, it's okay then. Everything he's, is fine. Yeah, it's just you know. Uh, no, he is a devil, Moss. It's yeah, that's it's that Well, scary. what's wrong with devils? I mean, everyone has good and bad sides. To be fair, devils are in fact on the level, and demons be scheming. That's all. That is what I've always that's said. True. That's what we've read. Well, Koki did just snitch on you, so I would say that that definitely is true about demons. Koki. If Let Koki knows demon, snitches get stitches. Well, come if Koki hey, gets hey, Moss, porn, we'll have to stitch up. Tell Koki. them, tell them, come at me, bro. Tell them, tell them that. Come I at don't me, want, bro. I, I really don't want to do that. I, I need some some coffee or some grog or hey, something. Hey, well, wait, hold on. What is Koki telling you what to do? Doing? Yeah, hold on. If you want to we should know. not matter. <laughs> Say it, the thing. Look, they can talk all they want. Just It's going to be weird when they wake up, when they... Or okay. should I say, Hold when on. everyone else wakes up and there's a weird cloth in their mouth and they suffocate in the middle of the night okay. on me. Okay. I, brand I brandish my bastard sword. I'm like, oh, okay, tablecloth. You want to do this? I okay. brandish You're not allowed to suffocate my friends. You stop that. Suffocate? Okay. All right, Moss. Put the tablecloth down. I'm going to chop it into pieces. I'm going to make you... Do some adjustments. Oh, time to make you into napkins, you, 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 you demon. <laughs> Moss stands up and grabs Cloakie and very elegantly flourishes him around her shoulders. Is like, if you hit Cloakie, you hit me. I do not have time for this nonsense. What is the plan? We're going to do to the frog what we were about to do to Cloakie, which is cut him up. Stabby, yeah. stabby. Yeah, that's the plan. And Let's how go. may I assist in this? Well, you know, with your murder spells and maybe a couple of healthy spells could be good. Didn't you shoot yeah. some fire like out of the the ship at yes, one point and it made a good I'm just one? asking if there's a more well thought out plan than that, but I suppose we shall go on instinct per usual. Well, it's Whoa. just it's just when we are all out on our own. What's up? I don't know. I was just gonna say, I mean, we could. Do we think that maybe Moss could still be on his good enough side that like we could pull a, a you know one of us turns on him right on the walk. But then Moss like goes to his aid, but that's just a front for actually also attacking him. So he's caught doubly off guard. Is that worth it? I think we all just team up and kill. Yeah, the, just kill, kill the me. frog. Be too hard. I think la sha la 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 kill the frog. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, I can't. I can't sing anymore. We're gonna that. kill the frog. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> this stream was going to be taken down. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Uh, I'm gonna head up to the deck. Okay. Cool. We did spend time. Oh yeah, we did the montage of of yes of, of, of uh, yeah spreading the good word. It was like the Misty Mountains montage from The Hobbit, but cooler. Yeah. I don't. I don't remember it at all. <laughs> no, me neither. Um. So um. The, the you, all of you are at full health, right? All of you have all of your spell slots. You all are are good to go. Yep. As a uh, crew, as you. Uh, walk up to the uh, the deck. You can see that the captain is talking to three frogs, one of them being the drunk person that you had talked to a few days before. Mm -hmm. And they are on a small boat and they are starting to anchor down, not anchor down, but starting to lower down to go to the island. Oh. Have they seen me? Mm -mm. They're talking to uh, uh, Beauregard. Can I hear what they're saying? You can roll perception. Is Bo oh. is Bogard short for Bo Beauregard? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, oh, Beauregard is like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, honestly, what it is, I I just got a new computer, and uh, I my one note, which is where I keep all of my notes, oh, yeah. is not on this computer, and I didn't discover that mm. until right before we started streaming. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty one. Um, you can hear words here and there. Um, for the most part, it just sounds like, all right, head out. You know the deal. Mm. Here, I'll go. Okay, uh, I'll go up to the top of the ship and I'll go, oh, hey, Krug. Oh, are you trying to listen in on what they're saying? And I look, I read their lips. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. I just get to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not in combat. That's the conversation. That's the conversation. Mm -hmm. It really isn't. He's I not being. Like, Hold on, Krug. I've got this. I got this. And then I just repeat exactly what Krug already heard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with like a few more adverbs or something. There you go. <laughs> See, isn't it very useful that they tried to turn me into a frog and failed, but uh, but I got far enough along where I learned their language. Yes, 
except for just now. Oh, did they? What did oh. I like misspeak or what? No, I I just realized I, I don't know the language. Just... Oh yeah, theoretically you wouldn't have known. Yeah, anything. yeah, that's that's what I was. Oh, so I was very helpful. Oh, yeah, don't you, you know very how helpful. helpful I am? <laughs> yeah, yes, and I'm gonna take back this ass that I had before. I'm just gonna take that. I, do, I don't even remember it. I don't either. I don't know. <laughs> like like it never happened. happened you know? yeah. Oh, Krug, you are my best friend, and oh, it is fun to, to chill with you. I I I hope that we remain friends when we both die and are in the afterlife. Yeah, me too. I also hope we get to kill this frog together. I mean, um, in Goblin, kill this frog together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Um, all right. So um, the, the, their boat travels off, and he turns around, and he sees the two of you, and goes, we're going to go when they come back. They're just scouting ahead for us, making sure everything's clear. Very cool. That's a really... <laughs> Really great plan. I like that plan because last time we got ambushed by a thing, and this time we won't get ambushed by a thing. I like the way you guys think. Because they scout ahead. Because they scout ahead. They go by themselves and just do some scouting. To uh, make sure. So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna uh, uh, fast forward a couple hours unless you all want to do something between now and then. I was just no, gonna be sassy more. Yeah, not really. I was I was gonna continue like. Uh, teetering on just like accidentally giving away the entire plan, but if you wanted to fast forward, that's probably a better. Idea. <laughs> um, okay. So a couple hours go by, they come back, they go up, they just nod to the captain, and uh, he gets on the boat and he says, "All right, here we are. It's just the five of us." But captain, you uh, you don't actually tell us what we're looking for. Does it matter? Did it matter last time? Yeah, it did. It did matter last time. Oh, did oh, it? Hold on, wait. I need when to... we got when we opened that chest up and there was a there was a map that affected our mission. That affected how you performed. Would that have been, helped you in any way? That's what I thought. No, because right. we dove into the water. All right, never mind. It's important to know where we're going and what we're up against more than what we're looking for. Honestly. What are we looking for in there, Captain, as far as dangers and things? Wow. Well, all of you are having this conversation. I'm just going to grab my bastard sword really quick. I forgot it. Oh, yeah. I'm good idea. Because we need might that. be able to you need that, yeah. fight in there. The scout said that it was all clear. We just need to go there. You all just need to dig it up. And we're done. We're out of here. Simple okay. mission. Easier than all of the ones before. It's gotten slightly easier, each one, hasn't it? Uh, I suppose. Was a big eel. We've been telling about the eel, anyways. Yeah, yeah, we told him. I told him about the eel back when I was. Um... I get. I come back. I'm like, okay, I got my sword. We can go. All right. You hop in the boat, and the boat drops down, and uh, you all. I. He's not going to be de doing it. So all of you, you can choose who's going to do it. Paddles uh, the boat into the shore, and he says, "All right." Four of you stand in front, I'll be behind, and I'll navigate us where we need to go. And he pulls the spyglass out, and he looks around uh, straight up this path. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, hey, hey. to roll me perception checks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I rolled a one, and I do have the highest perception. That's uh, great. It's 12. Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay. I rolled a... Uh, hmm, I could... How? How's everyone else's perception? Because we, we just... Oh, not good? Not great. Not great, no. Not. I got uh, 18. God, I wish I didn't use my hero point earlier. Non-natural 20. Oh. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. Mm. Um, you can do better if you roll a 15 or higher. But... I, just, I just got a 15. Yeah. I got a 15. I got a 15, too. But but gonna, I got I get 15 yeah. total, like after my uh, month. So as you walk along, you start to go up what seems to be a newish path that was probably created today, to be honest with you, Moss. Okay. Okay. Um, as you start to go, you lose sight of the ship. You continue to go down the road. And as you turn and twist throughout the, 
the very humid forest that you're in right now, you see a single flower sitting in the center of the road, about 40 feet in front of you. What does it look like? It looks like the flower that the frog had in his pocket. It's red. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to walk up to it and pluck it. No, no, no. It's it's no, no, sitting no, it's on the ground. Cold. Oh. Yeah. It's yeah. I think I might be wrong. I think this is when Molly we got this information when Molly oh. got, got up oh. and was away from So the that... drunk frog is yeah. out there and digs a hole in the ground. And uh and that's that flower was supposed to be a symbol for all of you to let you know that that's where the pitfall is. It's a trap that, that he's leading us towards. So this marks that there is a hole there. Um, uh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I was peeing. <laughs> <laughs> so we, if it's 40 feet away, like, I guess we don't know for sure if he marked the edge of it or, like, the center of it. So I don't know if we have a good way to, like, get close to it and then try to shove the captain in. You want to mm-hmm. just turn on him here if we're out of sight of the ship? I'm yeah. going to grab the captain. All right. All right. I'm gonna, Every, I'm all right, away. so... So, Krug, you're going to roll your initiative with your athletics check. I like that. Cool. And everyone else is going to roll initiative with perception. Mm-hmm. Can I? And I just really quickly, I just want to show you. I just, there's a natural 20 on this. Oh. Right there. A natural 20. Right there. Nice. nice. Yep. <sighs> um, excuse me, Krug, but um, don't you know that simulated dice rolling can never be truly as random as rolling a physical die? <laughs> Excuse are you implying me. that physical dice are manufactured with such precision that they are a hundred percent impartial that, to any given size? They're not implying that, but yeah, that was just been, that yeah. was just some discourse I saw on Twitter recently. Yeah. Oh, really? That's yeah, silly. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just so you so, know, I'm, I'm using yeah. the same dice rolling system you yeah. are. But there, oh, there is nice. one reason that physical dice are better, and it's that they're pretty. And, and, it's, and, it's, it's, fun to roll. and it's fun to roll. I mean. You're um, you're not you're not wrong. But that doesn't that's no knock against rolling digitally. What is your total? It's a natural twenty, but it's a it's thirty. A um, would you like to know what he got? Sure. A total of twenty nine. Oh, wow. wow! I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. <laughs> you probably I, rolled I, a two. <laughs> I rolled an eighteen, and he has a plus eleven. All right, all right, all right. I'm 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 in his realm at least. This isn't like astronomically outside of my reach. Yeah, uh, Moss, what'd you get? Uh, my perception. Mm-hmm. It was uh, tw- twenty one. Twenty one. Right. Twenty one. All right, Robin. Uh, fourteen. All right, Remy. Eight. Well, we know the order. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Krug, uh, not only are you going to be able to do a surprise round, um, but you go first, so go for it. Sweet. Uh, I, uh, so I grabbed him. He's going to take three damage because crushing grab. Monkey you don't moles. have to roll anything to, to get it? It's just The flat, flat damage equal to my strength mod. Yeah, but you don't, I, have to, you don't have to do anything to grab him, right? Well, I just rolled a, a grapple check. No, that was that was your your initiative. Oh, oh, oh! So you want me to roll again? Yes. Do that. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're not well, with an initiative, crew. I'm gonna do it then. That's a different number. Uh, where's nineteen? How about a nineteen? And that's against his uh, reflex save. No, that's against his. Uh, I think uh, it's it's a DC. Yeah, you know, but I can't remember it. what is is. Yeah, that yeah. DC. Fortitude DC. Fortitude. Okay, so his his fortitude DC is a nineteen. Okay, so it, it meets, meets, a beats. It meets it meets it meets it beats. Nice. So now yeah. he takes three damage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. And, and then, um, man, what do I want to do? I can't. I can't really move him very well, can I? Um, but you can hold him while we all stab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to flurry of blows, hit him twice. Cool. Uh, first attack. Sorry. Technology's bad. 24. 
Okay, a 24 hits his AC. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to just do both because of yep. your blows. Um, so this is minus 4, so 14 plus 9. is That's more than the last one. So that's mm-hmm. two hits, and that's going to be 2d6. Boop, boop. 14 damage. Okay. And then last action, I'm going to... um, Is the captain holding anything? It's staff. I'm going to try to disarm. Nice. So that... Let me grab the the rules for disarm really quick, because I think... I, I remember not liking them. Yeah, they weren't great because uh, this you basically have to critically succeed to like twice win. though. No, if you critically succeed once, it works. You have to if you if you just continually succeed, you just uh, give them minus uh, two circumstance penalty to attacks. Uh, so this is my athletics check against their reflex DC, and it is an okay. attack, so I will take a minus a lot. Okay. So this is going to be a total of. Uh, 16 against their reflex DC. Their reflex DC is a 17. Oh boy! Okay. Okay. You sure you don't have guidance or something? (laughs) I don't got any guidance, sorry. Alright, that brings it to his turn, and he is pissed. Yeah. He's pissed, pissed, pissed. We saw this Uh, coming. um, He is going to roll a flat check to see if he can hit you. Mm-hmm. I rolled a fifteen, so that's a success on 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 mm-hmm. his DC. Fine. But Under DC he... five check, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think hit a fourteen hits. No, no, it does not. Okay. So he right. takes his he takes his staff and he tries because are you grab him from the front or behind? I assume the behind. Well, I mean, we're yeah, if, of... if you're saying, yeah, I but can... I, I imagined I imagined Krug like. I just did a like twirl and yeah. ended up behind him, and then just like grabbed him. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'm okay with that. Yeah. yeah, I love that. So he's like reaching back, trying to hit you with his his staff, and he's he's missing. Uh, and then he looks at the rest of the group, and I need all of you to make me a fortitude saving throw. Not you, Krug. Fortitude saving throw. Oh, I see why this is beneficial now. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, because if you were in front of him, you'd you would also be in this. <laughs> Fortitude. Seventeen. Okay. Twenty-three. Okay. Moss. It is. Uh, seventeen. All right. So, uh, yeah, seven. Wait, what? Fortitude? Yeah, seventeen. So Moss and uh and uh Robin, you're gonna take full damage, and no, no, Remy, no. You're, you, Remy, you're gonna take half. Oh no! <laughs> that sounds like a big handful of dice. Yeah, but I rolled really poorly. I'm okay with that. Uh, two, four, nine. Uh, I need all of you to take nine damage. Nine? Uh, yeah. Um, no. Actually, no, I'm sorry. All of you take nine damage, and uh, uh, Moss and and Robin are frightened. Oh, wait, wait, I, take, if I take full damage. I'm just not frightened. Mm-hmm. What does frightened cool. mean? Um, frightened is... Any- uh, the frightened can uh, blah blah. You take a status penalty equal to this value on all your checks and DCs, unless specified otherwise. At the end of each of your turns, the value of your frightened condition decreases by one. Okay. So I just take a negative. It's a minus yeah. one until the end of our next turn. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's not so bad. Uh, all right. It is Moss's turn. All right. Well, I wanna. Nobody needs healing real bad yet. Not real bad. No. Okay. I want to destructo. Don't can I throw fire from my hands now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I, I want to do that. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna roll two spell attacks because it's okay. a 
two bolts, I believe, and you have to hit with each. So two two d eights. Uh, no, no, no. You're gonna roll a d twenty twice. Oh, d twenty twice. Sorry, d d eight is for damage. Okay. First time is uh nine. Nine does not hit his. Eight. Well, uh, nine plus cool. your spell casting modifier, which I believe is also nine. Yeah. Should be. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So that would be a total of eighteen. It's also, uh, my homie is flat footed. Just throwing it out there. So. Which makes it so that you actually hit him. Oh, yeah. yeah! Woo! And um, 23 is my second roll. Cool. You hit with both uh, bolts, so you do... Two... Oh, actually, I'm sorry. You should... You're should. you only rolling one, but you do 2d8 worth of damage. So... All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. First roll is three. Second roll is four. Oh! Uh, I have a question. That sounded mm -hmm. like a d4 to me. Huh? Did I, that... did I do D four and seventy eight? Yep, I sure did. <laughs> I love I love that you could hear. Yeah, yeah you it heard like a D four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Well, the excitement I heard of like a uh, uh, ooh a three, ooh a four. Yeah, I was I like, know, I know. Yeah. being excited all for right. a three. I was like, what? <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, yeah. All right. So two. <laughs> Oh, and okay. eight. <laughs> hey, that works more. out. That works out. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, this is the reason that I equated the D four to the D eight is because the D four doesn't look like it should be a D four to me. So mm -hmm. I always think of it as like uh, a four sided thing, even though it, yeah, I have a whole yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So that takes two actions uh, to do that. Uh, so that is your turn. Uh, that brings us to Robin. Oh, I'm sorry. Moss, you have one more action if you wanted to do anything else. I want to shield, else. please. Yeah, okay. So you cast shield, which is a single action. Uh, mm -hmm. That brings us to Robin. Cool. Um, I'm going to... God, I'm frightened right now. It's a minus one only, but... Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to... Um, toss out a vine covered in sticky sap, uh, flick that out from my hand and lash it towards the captain okay. and attempt to make a spell attack against him. Okay. <laughs> I rolled a 19, so that's plus 8 because of the minus 1 is 27. He totally hits. Not a critical success, I'm assuming. Um, uh, with well, him with, with him being flat-footed, uh, it is. Okay. Uh, on a critical success, the target gains the immobilized condition and takes a 10-foot circumstance penalty to its speeds for one round. It can attempt to escape against your spell DC to remove the penalty and the immobilized condition. So not necessarily anything that Krug's not already doing, but if he breaks out of Krug's, he's still going to be immobilized. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, and well, that's to be two fair, the grapple only lasts until the end of my next turn, so it's probably going to be useful. Cool. Good. Um, that's one action. Um, and I'm going to... Uh, I will also raise my shield uh and uh sorry uh moss um it's actually d6 damage not d8 d6 oh okay we, we, we're fine we, we've okay. already done it we'll next time yeah. oh, okay moving forward yeah i also really got to send you the paperwork on your sheet on your your ID. <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> like all my fault so uh yeah. all right cool um that brings uh is that your whole turn robin that's my turn and he takes no damage, or does he take damage? Um, no, no damage. Just okay. restrained. Or All right. Uh, Remy, it is your turn. Okay. How far am I away from this frog? You were, like, right in front of him. Nice. I don't have to move at all. Nope. Hell yeah. Either. I'm going to turn with my with my bastard sword, and I'm just, uh, uh, I'm going to, like, clench, uh, clench it in, in, with my with my fists. And I just want to, I just want to look this big old frog in the eyes and be like, oh, I have, I don't think you understand how much I want to kill you. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, and I'm going to slash. I'm going to do a slash at the, at the frog. Um, that's going to be 22. A 22 hits. 22 hits. Boom. And that's going to be not very much. Hmm. Uh, seven damage. Seven of my slashing damage. I'm going to go in for a second strike. Boom. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, that's a bad one. That's a bad one, folks. I did the wrong spell. 
<laughs> no, I, just, I, I did a bad thing. <laughs> I, did a bad thing. <laughs> I did. And I guess I'll go for a, I'll go for a, for a third attack here. Let me just let me just make sure on what I'm thinking is true. <laughs> oh shoot, not what I wanted. There we go. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay, cool. Yep, cool. Doing a third strike. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, that's gonna be twenty-three. Twenty-three also hits. Uh, big damage. Come on. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Can I use a hero point to reroll damage? <laughs> nope. Uh, okay. Uh, five damage. <laughs> I rolled one. <laughs> yep. All right. I rolled one. Okay, but I did. I did some. I did a couple slashes. Yeah, yeah. you did yeah, more yeah, damage yeah. than so far. All right, uh, that brings us to Krug. Nice. Uh, I am going to... Uh, so I'm behind him. Yes. And and the hole is in front of me. Yes. Because we were walking towards the hole. Yeah, it's uh, about how far 40 away? feet is where oh, you're looking okay, at. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay. In that case, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try to trip the good sir... Uh, which is athletics against reflex DC. That's a twenty-eight. Uh, that that's over his DC. Sweet. So, uh, is it critical success or no? No. Drats. So he's just gonna fall and land prone, which is um, not only is he flat-footed now, but he also gets minus two circumstance penalty to attack rolls unless he stands, which uh, mm -hmm. he has to do on his turn. And then I'm going to. Flurry of Blows and attack twice. First one is 19. 19. Uh, 19 total. 19 meets. Uh, meet, 19 is a hit. Sweet. Uh, so that will be. And then my second one was 18, actually. We'll just do both. Uh, 18 is a tie. So it meets a beat. Sweet. Oh, yeah. And that's like after flat footed. That's what that is. Uh, I mean, they both hit. I mean, okay, cool, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 They weren't going to be crits. AC, his AC <laughs> is eighteen, so that's mm -hmm. before flat footed. Uh, so that is going to be eleven damage. Okay. And then last action, I'm going to enter crane stance. All right. He is he's he's pretty pissed at you, Krug. I'm okay with it. From the ground, I might not be in a couple minutes, but from the ground he puts his hands out and points towards you, and he's gonna make a spell attack against you. Now, does this have the move trait, or is that specifically like moving like squares? That's that's moving squares. He is staying okay, cool. on the ground. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm assuming a 26 hits. Yes. All right. Uh, let me just go ahead and get that damage ready. This is going to be like disintegrate. I'm just gone see, now. <laughs> th th this is my problem. I always get D8s and D10s confused. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just trying to make me feel scared of him, and I'm not going to do it. I'm going to fight this individual. Here's the problem. I can't tell my D12s and D20s apart when I'm rolling damage, you know? I'm pretty mm. sure Disintegrate is actually D10s. This is actually a little terrifying. God, so what a crude Disintegrate. I don't, think, I don't think that's going to happen. That's like a level 5 spell, though. You'd have to be really strong. I need you to take 17 acid damage. Oh! Okay. As an arrow of acid leaves his Ooh. hand and hits you directly on the chest. Uh, you are going to also take 1d6 persistent acid damage on your turn. Okay. Yikes. Uh, so that is a single... That was his double action for his spell. Uh -huh. uh, and he is going to use his tongue and try and grab you, Krug. Oh, boy. Is Why you got to do that? <laughs> Is this a manipulate action by chance? Uh, is a manipulate action? Uh, it doesn't 
say it just says uh, tongue effect. <laughs> no. It says uh, it's, it's a, a tongue, tongue action. action. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because normally like staffs and stuff like that, it says uh, that there is a manipulation. Um, like, well, let me rephrase that. It says t- like stabs and swords and stuff like that. We know we're a manipulation action because of it. But, but I don't know if tongue is a manipulate action. Why? Would you like to try and let's, would you like to do something? I if it makes sense, I would, yes. What? Uh, opportunity attack. Him casting a spell is a manipulation. Uh, so, cool. oh, is it? Okay, sorry. Attack of opportunity just says like um, uh, a creature within your reach manipulate action or move action or makes a ranged attack or leaves a square during a move action it's using. So it's just yeah, it was. Yeah. I it didn't say like so, spell attack. So I was just like, okay, I'm just chilling. Yeah, so manipulate here's, is here's, when you're move you're moving around or doing anything. Like yeah, here's uh, the, the like rules is written text for manipulate. You must physically manipulate an item or make gestures to use an action with this trait. Oh, so, so casting a spell spells legit- require mm-hmm. gestures. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, and even chat chat's even confirming that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Dang. So I, mean, I could have done that. Can, okay. No, no, I, I will give it to you. I'll I'll give it to you now. Like it's still his turn. Oh, so okay. I, yeah, I will give that to you. Yeah. So if you want to take that attack. Right. Yeah. Ooh. 29 Ooh. 29 is is a critical hit nice. hey. okay 29 i just want you on an attack of opportunity if i get a critical hit the thing you're doing doesn't happen oh, oh my god. God. i you see a flash <laughs> and, acid and you say oh no if your strike is a critical hit uh and the tar- t- the trigger was a manipulation action you disrupt the action the strike uh yeah you disrupt the action so it doesn't you don't get to cast a spell Krug, you can you can take all of that health right back <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna like i'm gonna like oh, no. i want to look okay, back yeah. and be like oh, i thought you were gonna oh thanks rami <laughs> Oh, 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 okay. I just rolled the damage. Sorry, hold on. Um, and you add the modifier twice, yeah, if I yeah, remember yeah. right. You double the modifier, uh, so that's 25 damage. Oh my god, how would you like to describe how you killed him? Are okay. you kidding me? Okay, so this, okay, <laughs> so, so like, we're, we're like, he, he puts his hand out to like do the, the arrow, and uh, like, so like, uh, their in, the inner monologue is like, how you fools, I've got you, and then just like, sh- like all of a sudden, like, you just see a, a wipe like in front. And he's like, "What?" And then all, his hand separates from his uh, his arm, and like the spell just like falls to the ground with the hand. He's like, "Ah!" Oh! And like, and both of like uh, the hands are like just just like bl- like gushing out blood, like um, and, like li- the frog blood uh, up like that. And I- I've chopped that, and then I go and like uh, before I'm going for like I-, I chop the arms off, and then I swing my 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 bastard sword back up. And then Remy looks the frog in the eye one more time, and goes like. What the what, what women like like really she and like chops the head off. <laughs> so a, as you yeah. as you say women really and like a, he knows that this is his last moment because his hands are gone and he's looking up at you and his last words are kiss my ass and he just ah! sliced oh right God. through him. <laughs> Fucking Harper over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, my and my I had falls part- I thought the whole thing was that we were afraid of him for some reason, but we that dang Remy. Remy. Oh, wow. yeah. oh my god. I feel so good right now. I've never felt so good to kill hit anyone in my life. I can't hit, I went, hold on. <laughs> hit him again? I don't well, I don't have to hit you can hit him again. Okay, I, well, no, wait, 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 I mean wait, 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 wait. Hold Before on. we do anything okay. else, we, all right, okay. We should we should get the like the, the kissy box and the spyglass off of and him. And honestly, whatever else he's got on him, we should we should just loot him. Oh. He might have he's a lot of oh. pocket. I feel yeah, we, we should talk to Arturo. Myself that I even entertained any sort of fake friendship with him, but Remy, you are completely yeah. the most incredible job, babe. I've ever Good heard job. of in my life, and I'm going to sing a million songs about you. Oh, so, I, I just feel bad that like you couldn't be the one to do it, you know? Oh, oh, no, like, don't worry. I mean, we don't like, need his oh. corpse for anything, do we? Okay, all right. We, we, <laughs> we, get, we get everything uh, we need off of him. Hold on. Um, so, so hold on. The, there, are, there are a series of very important questions I have. Okay, who's looting the body? I will, for one, uh, it's part perception, in the right? Body. Yeah. Is it perception? Okay. Yes. I. Yeah. Okay. I have eleven perception. All right. All right you can do it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe! Oh my <laughs> god! 
Like I can't, nothing. I can't believe I I chopped his hands off and stopped you from getting hit with an acid arrow. Yeah, oh that's, my gosh. that's one of those things where you look at the ability and you're like, when that happens, that's gonna feel real good. Oh, yeah. I haven't I haven't successfully done an opportunity attack in <laughs> this campaign. <laughs> I've never been able to do it. Like, oh, it was oh. one of the most crazy things ever. I don't know right. if you saw my face, but I was going like this. Oh. <laughs> All right, Jonas, uh, what is uh, what is Robin's perception check? Haha, <laughs> 28. Okay, I'm going to read off some things, and I want you to tell me what you're going to do with them. Okay. okay. You find the box, the speaker box. I give it to Krug. Yay. Okay. You find the spyglass. Um, I give it to Remy to put in their pocket to stash. You, you, as soon as you touch it, Please make me a will save. Oh, okay. oh no! <laughs> Got a character. Oh, a character. Okay. I rolled a nineteen, oh, and will is my like my jam. Oh, okay, cool. Um, thirty. So Whoa. nothing, nothing feels different to you. You pick it up and you hand it to Remy. Nothing Remy, wait, 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 wait. Okay, great. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, you know. No, you. It, it was. No. It was. Yeah. It is a. It is a cursed item. You touched it. You passed it completely. Remy, please roll <laughs> me. A will save. <laughs> That's why I specifically asked the things I asked. <laughs> ah, one more hero point. Can we please get another hero point? No. <laughs> we, we had one earlier. We had one earlier. Did, did we? Did we? Did we? Can I don't oh, even have one today. Can I don't even have any hero point? Mine yet. Okay. All right, all right. All right. All right. What'd you get? <laughs> you know how Will's your best thing? Yeah, it's not yours. I know. <laughs> your worst, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, is this is this by any chance fear based? No. Okay, then ten. You touch as 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 Robin picks up the spyglass and goes, Remy, and you <laughs> take it from her hand and it touches you. You immediately get the urge to just look through it. And I do you, it. Yeah, you slide open, you look through it, and as you're looking around and spinning around in all the different directions, you see a single sparkle. Man, you really want to go there. You really, really want to. You don't even want to let this thing go. You just, you just, you got to go. You got, as soon as you can get there, the better, you know? Oh, man. Um, all right. More things that are on his body. There are more things on his body. Um, you also find a staff. Uh, I'll just like tuck that under my arm. Um, I, I assume I can't like, can I get a quick glance, see if I can figure out what it is? Oh, I have to check magic. Is it magical? Does uh, it, it, is not well? a, it, it is not a magical staff. Uh, it is cool. a large wooden staff with a, uh, snake head uh, ornament on the top, uh, portion of it, uh, okay. out of game wise. If you use it with two hands, it does one D eight, uh, worth of damage. If you use, uh, it, use it with one hand, uh, it does one D four plus six. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, that's it. That's the the staff. Um, uh, you also find an assortment of gems and gold uh, on on his uh, his person, uh, and then uh, some just uh, like his armor that has fit to him, uh, which is a lot of skins and furs and um, cool. skulls. Um, yeah, I'll leave his armor on him. I don't assume any of us want that. Um, the gems and gold. Uh, I'll like give to to Moss to like divvy up. Um, I, I imagine that like uh, if I ever get money, I give it to Moss to like distribute however makes sense. Sure. I don't want to think about it. Um, I'm gonna tuck the staff under my arm and uh, just turn to everyone else and say, uh, "Anyone else got plans with this guy? I've got his his pockets. That's all of it." I hear frog um, legs are tasty. Can I can I can I, I get him? <laughs> can I get a uh, can I can y'all do perception checks for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, new GM. Oh, what a good time to roll a three. So that's 14. Uh, 21. 17? Uh, I, I will say everyone sees that Remy is acting quite similar to how the captain has been acting the last few days. I will. I actually, can I, can I reroute that? Yeah. I rolled a, I rolled a, a a twenty total to to stealthfully get away oh. from everyone. Ooh, okay. So, um, 
So I feel Moss, you got a 21, right? Yeah. So like everyone else like is, is semi distracted for a bit and then mm-hmm. uh, I guess you would just notice that like Remy is no longer there. Like um, you you can see probably like notice mm-hmm. Remy like walk like scurrying away uh-huh. honestly. I'm going to follow Remy. So you see you see that you see Remy starting to skirt like the last tail uh, uh tail bits of his, his feet going into their, the their, their feet their feet. I'm so sorry. Uh uh into the uh, into the tree line. And that is where we're going to end tonight's episode. Ooh, oh. Oh. <laughs> um, we're finally getting somewhere. I, I'm sorry, I'm cursed. I'm cursed. <laughs> uh, I I love that I have two cursed items that the group has right now. I'm very excited about that. The group Be doesn't rude. love that. Stop I can't it. believe you. I can't believe you critically succeeded. Like, or you you got such like a high success on like not feeling the curse that that then, two. Like, What's the other one? Uh, uh, I, have we said it live on stream? Yeah, no, we haven't said that. Okay, uh, there then are I'm two, after that. I've forgotten. Okay, there there yeah. are two cursed items. There are two cursed items, but yeah, cool. Um, yeah, wow, I that was great. Remy got to kill uh, what Remy said all along. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to kill this frog. <laughs> Remy, kill this frog. I I have wanted you all to kill him so badly this entire time but i was like, like dude i'm done rping this guy gosh well no it's not just it's, i mean one yes and second uh the thing is, is that he's such he's, he's such a shitty character right yeah uh, and, and so it's like it, it i i enjoy like y- you all getting the 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 feeling of being able to to do it right but the thing is is that he was powerful enough that if you did not get the drop on him she yeah, completely taken you out. You know oh, what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Well, not only that, but if he wasn't alone, like mm-hmm. even if he had like two other frogs with him, I feel yeah. I feel like even then we might have lost. Like, yeah, it would have been harder for sure. Yeah. Also, uh, you did get a crit and then roll high. Yes. On damage, so, like oh, that yeah. definitely sped things up. Yeah. So um, now we know how Jake feels in all of our combat encounters <laughs> where we just crit <laughs> everyone. I, I'm um, cool. I, I am not one of those GMs who are like, uh, I want, I want to mm-hmm. beat them up. I, I want you. Of course. To That's what I love about you, Jake. I, I just want you to that... speed, but I also want you to feel like it's difficult. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 love... I, I definitely don't. I won't take ex- what happened just now for granted at all. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I love the story of like how mm-hmm. it went too, because we were all like going up. Like Moss saw the rose, like saw the flower, mm-hmm. and like uh, mm-hmm. and and then like suddenly Krug just like swivels behind and like mm-hmm. grabs the frog the frog man and then and then we're all like all right we're doing it he was like and double just, held down at the end yeah, too yeah with your like mm-hmm. vine your sticky vine thing mm-hmm. oh it was it was dope and then and then the, got fire at him yeah. i killed a man with a trident I, <laughs> <laughs> I chopped the head off and then i and then i touch an eyeglass and disappear mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just how it goes so cool. uh so, so uh, there's a couple things I wanted to kind of like give as people that managed to make it to the very end of the episode. Hey. Uh, uh, so uh, this character was based off of John Wayne Gacy, uh, the clown, the fact that he was making paintings when, when John Wayne Gacy was in prison, he made uh, paintings of his, of his uh, a clown. Uh, the situation that happened with Robin, that was a situation that uh, that is how he killed a lot of his victims or went after a lot of them is he would show him the magic trick. Um, mm-hmm. His last words before he died was kiss my ass. So, oh my uh, <laughs> yeah. so I, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like poetic too. Cause in this context, those words uh, like removed all doubt that this was the right choice. In, yep. in like my character's head, like kiss my ass, like yeah, okay, sure, yeah. <laughs> what I'll do that when I when I die, but you're gonna go right now. That's that's fine. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, that was an awesome episode. Let's uh, let's do our goodbyes. Uh, let's go reverse order. Let's do uh, Jonas and William. All right, I have been Jonas uh, playing the Storm Druid Robin. You can find me on Twitter at Jonas Newhouse, where I uh, tweet about all the stuff that our band, me and Williams Band Glass Beach, is doing. A lot of live streams right now. Um, I've been playing a game called Seven Days to Die, which also has zombies in it. It's like a crafting survival game. Um, right. And uh, yeah, I mean, of course, our band does music too, which is available on all streaming services that I'm aware of, uh, and in uh, you know stores and stuff. Um, yeah, it's called the First Class Beach Album. It's very good. You should check it out if you have not. And uh, please also tune in to the other show I'm on on Q Times called Hijinks and Handlebars at William GMs. Uh, and I'll let them talk more of, about that. Give the little pitch for it. But that's me, at Jonas Newhouse. 
Hi, I'm William. I was playing Remy Ashwillow. Uh, it was a lot of fun. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at KWilliamWhite. I'm also in the band Glass Beach. Check that stuff out. We're Glass Beach Band on Twitter and Instagram. We have a Patreon channel, Glass Beach Band, and we also have a Twitch channel, Glass Beach Band. And a website, glassbeach.band. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're very good at Glass Beach Brand. Uh, <laughs> so you can you can catch me here on Tuesday night, 7.30 p.m. Pacific. I, uh, I run a show called Hijinks and Handlebars. Right now we are doing Dungeon World. We usually do Kids on Bikes. Kids mm-hmm. on Bikes is sort of like a Stranger Things so, uh, Stranger Things kind of uh, a game, and Dungeon World is more like like a Pathfinder or like a, a D and D. Yeah, but it's like using the Apocalypse uh, system as powered by the Apocalypse, so just two D six for most things. Uh, really fun. Uh, that's the mini series we're doing right now. We just did episode six, I think, last time, and we're we're getting on to episode seven. So seven thirty p.m. Pacific on the Q Times main YouTube main YouTube Q Times Twitch channel. Excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. But you can find all of our backlog of episodes on the Q Times main YouTube channel. Yeah, awesome. Moss, go for it. My name is Molly McIsaac, and I play Moss the Magnificent. I am still deep in my Animal Crossing obsession. I think I'm at almost 400 hours right now, so I haven't been doing anything on the internet for your entertainment. I've just been entertaining myself, so I apologize for that. But when I am entertaining you, I am Molly McIsaac across the board. That's everything, including YouTube. Just to say, it was entertaining trying to watch you get the horse. Or whatever. Oh, like, Renee. Yeah. Yeah, I got yeah, her. yeah. I gave up. Yeah, I gave up. <laughs> I got her on Nukazon. I spent mm-hmm. I spent uh I spent uh in game currency on her because I you know, I was exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Krug, your turn. And I'm Krug. You can talk to me on Discord mostly because we have a Discord. You should join our Discord. We actually have two Discords, but Indosgar is probably going to talk about the other Discord. Uh, and if you want to uh, hear more about Pathfinder 2nd Edition, one great place to do that is on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash qtimesmain. We do a show called Game Gorgon. Pathfinder 2nd Edition is a very common topic that we discuss, but we also talk about other role-playing games sometimes. And like, if you go way, 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 way back in time, you can see some video game content, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, but don't because it's old <laughs> all right uh <laughs> my name is jake i was the gm of this uh as krug did mention we do have two different discord servers we have our free and open discord server for anyone that wants to talk about anything discuss anything find other groups that are looking to play games all of that fun stuff and then we have a patreon discord uh which is uh five dollars uh, to get on it uh, and you just got to do it once and you're on for, for life or as long as you want to be on there. Uh, and uh, that is our RP server. A bunch of people are, uh, a bunch of GMs are RPing. Uh, I come in there every once in a while and I run a game. We just ran one uh, and it's actually canonical with the story that goes on here. So uh, it, it's uh, really interesting because uh, they're having to be all locked into the town while there's this zombie apocalypse that's happening, which happened at a really weird time in yeah. you know society. Um, yeah. <laughs> that being said, um, there are some other really cool things. Um, it, if you can support us on Patreon, wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you're able to subscribe on Twitch, you're you're also amazing. If you can donate bits, I love all of you. If you can't do any of that, that is super okay. Like that, that like, do not feel pressured to uh, have to spend money and send money. I know this is a very difficult time for anyone um, right now. And uh, while we appreciate it and we love it, I, I don't want anyone to feel pressured into doing that. That being said, if you can and you really do enjoy the content, share as much as you possibly can post on Reddit, post on Facebook, Twitter, wherever. Cause that is what really, really helps our show a ton. Mm-hmm. Uh, because the thing is, is that yes, we're an affiliate with Paizo and that's helping us tremendously by uh, them hosting our show. Uh, but the more people that have the opportunity to see us and get to enjoy the show, the more time and effort that all of us get to have, to actually put more and more. I've got a ton of ideas that I really, really want to do. Uh, some a little bit more extravagant than others, but these are things that I'm working on. And the more people that we can get here, the sooner I can make all of that happen because I'll be able to uh, 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 give it more time to do that. Um, so please share if you can. Um, yeah, but thank you just for even being here. Uh, yeah. I would also like to say yeah. that. It's like, 
like being here and talking and chatting and 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 like because I have chat up and I read chat and I love to see the excitement that all of you have. Like, mm-hmm. you know, seeing all of the love for Remy this this episode, not only for for killing the big bad, but for being sassy and just it, it was <laughs> it, it's wonderful to see in chat. And I just want you all to know that I love it very, very much. And yeah. I like and it's to too bad you. that we'll have to kill Remy next session. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, bye, everyone. Bye. bye.